Might be really, really short. What? Oh, Ace is there. Ace, what's up? First one, I'll start to wonder if anybody's come, coming in or not. I told Maria it was already going to be a short one, and then after a minute went by and wasn't nobody here, I was like, it might be a really short one. <clears throat> did you uh did you see my post I put out today? Remember that reel I won off JV when Maria won off JV and she gave it to me? I ordered a rod for it today. I got I went ahead and went with the uh seven foot um vendetta. Wasn't it? Yeah, seven foot vendetta. Um, Abby Garcia, uh, it will be here by Friday from Bass Pro, and I will have I will put my new uh, Cast King that came from JV on it. But with that being my first bass reel, I didn't want it to be lonely, so uh, I decided to go to Walmart today, and. Uh, So I'd go to Walmart today and get him a buddy to go with him. So I'd have two bass poles. So this is what we end up with. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll put it another way. I went to Walmart to get a lose, a lose reel. I knew what I wanted. I wanted to get a lose reel, bass reel. Well, I went to Walmart and they're all the shelf was empty. They had none on the shelf. And then we found this one combo. On the rack. And I got my lose. <laughs> yes, you did. You're right. Hey, said Maria told you it was short a long time ago. But yeah, I got my lose. These grips are friggin' amazing. I mean, friggin' badass. The only pro the only thing I don't like is it's a one piece rod. Uh but it's a uh, speed stick, Xfinity speed stick, seven foot. Uh, let's see, uh, oh my bad, it's six foot ten, lure weight three sixteenth to five eighths ounce, line weight ten to thirty pound, medium heavy power, action fast. And the one uh, the the uh, Vendetta I ordered, I got medium heavy action. And, or medium heavy power and fast action on it also. Well, but after I found that, well, while we were still looking for that, actually, we seen this, which is on an ugly stick rod. It is a Shakespeare reel, which I do not like Shakespeare. I really don't. But it's it's on an ugly stick rod. It came with a, I got a, what, how many year warranty did I get on this fucking thing? The protection plane? Three years, three years or something like that. And, um, but it's got the line counter. It's actually for walleye, which I'm not, not going to catch it. Well, is that what I catch back here? That is what I catch, ain't it? Well, I called them saw guy but they're walleye. Found out they're walleye. Yeah. I started to say there ain't no walleye around here. I almost made myself look stupid. But this says Shakespeare, ugly stick, walleye. But I'm going to use it for catfishing. It's got a line counter on it. But it's got this bad motherfucker on it. That is a nice clicker, man. That is a nice ass bait runner. Especially for a Shakespeare. I wish the little cheap Shakespeare's had clickers like that. What do you think? Any opinions? Think I'll work for catfish? Think I'll work for bass?
get your stimulus. Yep. How do you think I got all that shit? <laughs> yep, we got it. I spent seventy some dollars on things for the cats. And I spent uh sixty five on that uh ugly stick combo. And I spent ninety seven on the uh lose and uh Xfinity combo. I spent four hundred some dollars for a left Walmart. Didn't get yours. Well, Maria got hers yesterday, but of course Maria's always always owes the bank and shit, so she didn't get but like half of hers. But then we both started getting worried because I didn't get mine at the same time because we usually did. But uh, woke up this morning, it was there. Yeah, this should give it away. Smoking camels, non filters, ten dollar pack of cigarettes. It's only bought one too. How's come you didn't get yours? Did you get the first two? If you got the twelve and the six, the the fourteen should have came the same way. Which I had a I had mine sent to a card all three times. I had no problem. And what the hell is this thing for on this uh this this uh Shakespeare bait caster? There's a thing on the spool. Looks like you're supposed to tie your line to it or something. I ain't tying my damn line to that. I don't I never tie my line to a bait caster. I tape. I didn't get the boat rod holders yet. Uh, I'm still going to get those eventually. I'm going to do the hot rod holders like you did. Uh, the boat rod holders and put the added the threaded uh, thread to it. But I did uh, go ahead and pick up some of these today. I got four of the springs. You know, just regular old stick them in the ground, stick the rod in there. I do a lot of fishing in the creek, so those are going to come in handy for me. And a lot of guys don't like them, but they will hold the pole from going in the water, you know. I hope it comes. Yeah, I got the 12 and 6. Yeah, you'll get this one then. They're just doing a little bit different, I think. Um, like like the 600, man. I woke up January 1st and it was there, you know. And uh, did you get yours on first too? January, the 600 we got. Yeah, see, we both got them the same time on the, on the other two. I got two of these too, um, and, and the reason I went ahead and got these is because they got that uh, that stake on them that uh, helps them, that, so they don't turn. Because I've got one like this, but it doesn't have this piece on it. So if you stick it down in the ground and the fish turns, the whole thing spins. Or if the current's going, the whole the whole whole rod just turns with the current or the fish, you know. So I like these; it's got that keeps from turning. But yeah, uh, I had to go on and file. Uh, for, for the first 1200 I had to sign us up for it, which you probably had to. Well, if you're on full dis, if you're fully dis disabled, you didn't have to. You shouldn't have had to. But, uh, but yeah, all mine came. I, I, I set it up on the first one to that card and, uh, had no problems. What'd you say here? Uh, your line next to that peg, tie your line next to that peg, keeps the line from free spooling. Oh, okay. All right, hang on. I'll drop a link. Yeah, I wonder how many people show up because I, I came live on Hillbilly Psycho instead of uh, Dobson. But I told y'all I wasn't going to be fishing on Dobson. These fucking haters pissed me off till I changed my name, so I'm not I'm not fishing on that channel no more. What's that? Can't hear you. 
Uh, look the third one over. Make us a little narrower. Oh, yeah. No, when I use braid, that peg works really good because I'll tie right next to that peg and then I'll wrap the braid around it. Yeah. And then when you all your line goes out, it doesn't sit there and free spool it. Hell yeah. Oh, nobody recently, Lord. Nobody. I'm talking about the, the people in the past that wouldn't come to my channel because I was too real. Because I, I'm actually me when I'm on here. So when I cuss and I smoke and all that shit and all the people that turned on me, that's the reason I changed that channel with Dobson. So all the fish that's going to be on here, I will switch this back over and show you, Lord. Well, that ain't the wrong button. Um, all right, Laura, uh, you remember the, the reel I bought? Uh, uh, I didn't buy the reel that Maria won from JV's channel. Pull it out. My, my cast king. Still in the box. Waiting for the reel to get here Friday, or the rod to get here Friday. I ordered a uh, Abu Garcia Vendetta 7 foot for that. But I didn't want it to be alone, so... I decided I was going to go to Walmart, and I wanted a lose. I've, I've been looking at lose reels for a while, and I wanted a lose ba a bass reel. Well, they were sold out of them on the shelf because everybody got their stimulus. Everybody got their taxes, so shit was empty. But we found one combo. Did that lose? Yeah, buddy. I found her. I got her. I haven't tried their casting yet, but I know their spinning sucks. Yeah, I heard that too, but I heard their I heard their bait casters were good, so I want to try one. And I got the the four year protection plan, so if anything happens, you know and these grips, dude. Oh, I'm I'm in love with these grips on this thing, dude. They're like foam, but I mean, there's just there's no way it's going to slip. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can get them for casting too, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, you can go into like Amazon and type in a. Uh, Bait caster handles, is, replacement handles. Yep. And so this combo right here was $97. 97 plus tax. This and then while I was there, before I found that, I seen this here, which is a walleye rod and a Shakespeare bait caster with a line counter on it. Ugly stick rod. And it was only six to five bucks. I was like, you know what? That's a good investment for six five dollars. If it don't work, like I said, I got the I got the protection plan. I'll take take the damn thing back, you know. I got two of them reels. Well, not them reels, but two of the line counters on them for sale. No, they're uh, Alcumas. Ah, uh, Road Warrior. But yeah, that's the two I just got today. And then I've got uh, I've got a nine foot. I'm not gonna tell y'all what collar it is, but I got a nine foot catfish rod coming. Uh. It will. It should, it's supposed to be here by Friday too. Ain't? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be here by Friday. Coming from Walmart.com, and I got my other rod for the cast cane coming from Bass Pro. It's supposed to be here by Friday. Mm -hmm. Dirty. <laughs> yeah, what else? Yeah, I'm really I'm like, I'm 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 not catch this year. I'm not. Send that Might really soon because I got my disconnect today. Oh, shit. Oh, me too, Lord. I was debating whether I want to take this out in the rain tomorrow or if I just want to wait until they all get together and I take both my bass rods out at the same time. I ain't made up my mind yet. Because <laughs> I hate to take this one out and use it before I cast the cast king. You know what I mean? All right, now. Uh. Another reason I went live. Uh, I have the braid that Abbott sent me in the box. And I have six pound mono and I have 10 pound mono. If uh, you're going to use that for bass, I would, well, what type, what uh, size braid, what poundage? Uh, I believe it's six. Uh, go with 10 pound on it for bass. Go with the 10 pound mono? Yeah. Uh, Six is more like for your panfish, crappie, stuff like that. 
I know. I just, I just figured it would, uh, it would like make a better fight. You'd have to set drag looser and stuff. But yeah, I'd, I'd rather have ten pound if I hook a good bass. Well, I don't feel worth the shit. Now these look like metal. These look like metal eyes. I think these would work for braid. I'm not sure. Oh, they're stainless eyes. They'll work for braid. Yeah. Okay. That's we'll so I, but I, but I, but I shouldn't put braid on there unless I get at least ten pounds. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. I think that was six. Let me pull that line up, Abbotson. Uh, where do I got to go for this? Here. Oh, let's see. Oh, my bad. My bad. It's six pound diameter, 20 pound test. Oh, then there you go. Put it on. Put this one on the orange one? Yep. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, he sent me this Power Pro braid in that box he sent. Me. I don't know how well you're going to see these, but they come in a kit of five. Here, let me blow you up. Grasshoppers. Yep. You can pick them up Hell on yeah. Amazon. They were damn good for uh, crappie and bass. Oh, I bet. Yellow bellies probably hit those if you get close enough to it. Oh, yeah. But this here, uh, green I'm and the, the green and the brown seem to work the best. Yeah, the natural colors. Yep. Those are the most natural out of them, probably. And this one here, I, it's more of like a bluegillish color. Huh. I see, I got some. Man, I don't, I don't even know where those are at. Those got to be in my tackle box. But if you I get yourself you. some uh, split rings, okay, and some uh, treble hooks, you can get some really nice lures cheap. They're a buck a piece at Walmart, and all you need is the split yeah, rings the key and chains. treble hooks. <laughs> and that's actually one, I, one from you there. But I've yep, put like I was gonna 12, say, that looks familiar. 12 of them already <laughs> together. Hell yeah. Yeah, I knew it was an actual bass lure, just minus the hooks. Yeah. Y'all yeah, bought a little uh, a little micro lure pack last year. It had them little grass opportunities. I can't remember where the hell it's at right now. These little grasshoppers are actually killer. That's going to drive me nuts, John. Piss the neighbor off. Piss the neighbor off. Yeah, he comes down here with his see, truck keys and some see. cash money. Says he's not feeling good, wanted me to run over to the gas station and get him some smokes. It's like, I'm not going nowhere right now. I just went live. <laughs> Did he get his? Nope, not yet either. Right. Huh. Well, that, that that's probably a good sign, though, really. It probably just means it's coming. Just, it's just going to be a little later. Yeah, Laura, we gave uh, like three of those away, I think, uh, them them keychains. And I knew. Uh, I was checking them out. And you can tell they were actual bicyclers. Just didn't have the hooks. Laura Setch loves your sticker board there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyone that's got a sticker and wants to send one, feel free to send it because I'll definitely post it and promote your channels. Hell, yeah. I'm look, I'm trying to find a place to get something done cheaper, man, because uh, I was just on Teespring. I ordered I ordered some fish snatcher gear. I ordered something else from uh, Feedback, I've and uh, I went and looked at my stickers. I Not thought about ordering about 10. Snatchers right yep. here. <laughs> yep, Marie just ordered that same one. Uh, I got a, I got a hat and a shirt. I got a did I get the tank top? Yeah, I got the bucket hat and a tank top on its way. Hmm. And then I got the uh, <laughs> touch my beard and tell me I'm pretty. <clears throat> and while I was on there, dude, just all this Dobson gear started popping up, and it wasn't mine. But I couldn't, I couldn't fucking help it, man. I had to order the shirt 
that says keep calm and let Dobson handle it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even my design, but I had to buy it. <laughs> and there's another one that says never underestimate the power of Dobson. I want that one too. I want a sticker, Lord. That's cool, Laura. Yeah, uh, where's my sticker? Definitely, I got plenty of room here for it. I'll put it right on, probably in here. I, yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to find me a piece of board out of Home Depot. Yeah, I got all my info on my about page on my uh, Bait Shop Mafia Ace Catfishing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just got done ordering some rattles and what else? Uh, bobber stops from uh, Lee. Oh yeah, Uncle Lou. I want. I think I'm gonna get me some rubber beads. I'm gonna break down and order me some rubber beads. I think. That's a pleasant mark on mm -hmm. that. Where I said hard work. Oh yeah, my bad, Ben Rich boys. What's up? Welcome, welcome. I'll flip this back around again to show you. I should have just waited till till people came in, but I wasn't sure people was gonna come in. Yeah, I should have just gave it a few. Now I just gotta keep switching the background. I'm gonna go solo solo for a second, Ace. Here's one. Uh, here's what I got today, Ben Rich. I went to uh, Walmart. I wanted a lose reel, lose bait caster. They didn't have none by themselves, so I ended up buying a combo for ninety-seven dollars. But I got my lose reel. Yeah, these freaking grips are nice. I would like to have these grips from my other reel. Though. I'm gonna check that out. And then uh, while I was there, I seen this, and it was sixty-five dollars. Says for walleye, but I'm gonna use it for catfish. Shakespeare reel with line counter. It's a hell of a bait runner on this thing, man. Dude, this clicker. This is why this thing got bought, dude. It wasn't just because it was only 65. This clicker is so loud. For a Shakespeare, that blew my mind, dude. And one thing I would suggest, well, you got the cash to do it, is go on to Amazon and get yourself some real covers. Yeah, I've been wanting to get them for my big poles, too, my, my big gabbies that I bake the catfish with. Yeah. I should really get them for these bass reels. Oh, you ain't going to, well, maybe it will show up. I turned the background off, so yeah. That's the cast. Oh, yeah, what kind is that real? Cast king. That's cast king. Yeah. No shit. Did you get it? None. I got the whopper plopper on it and the so detective over that. Long real bit so I can just see who show up. Y'all, I haven't casted that yet, but I've heard so much good stuff about the cast king. I know I'm not going to be disappointed. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm not disappointed with this lose because I kind of built, I kind of built myself up on the lose. I talked myself into that reel, uh, so I hope I'm not disappointed. In it. Uh, I've never bought one of my own, but I've casted my yeah. brothers and myself. I don't care for them. Yeah, but well, you I, said that I was own... just the open face, right? No, that's my brother's got the bait casters. Oh, he's got the bait caster. I got you. Yeah, I have the open face. Spinning reels. And I don't care for them either. Dude, what's up? Yeah. So, shark fishing, showing off my new lose uh, combo I got today. And I got a uh, Shakespeare combo. Uh, supposed to be for, for walleye, but uh, like I say, it said it holds 200 yards, 20 pound line. I said, that's a catfish rod. <laughs> you know what I mean? I have no problem fishing with 20-pound line. 
No, if you're going to use them for bass fishing, um, one thing I would suggest, I wouldn't go with mono and I wouldn't go with braid either, to be honest. Yeah. Because your mono and your braid, they're both designed to actually float. Yeah. So if you're going to do like Texas rigs and deeper uh, chatterbait, stuff like that, I would yeah, see that. Going and, with and see, I'm, dude, I still don't, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I know a Texas look, rig is a way you rig something up to fish for bass, no. but I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> well, Texas rigging is basically like a plastic worm. You've got your hook on it, and then a bullet weight right on your main line tied right straight to the hook. That's Texas rigging. But when I was getting that with the floor, uh, mono and the braid, you know, they're designed to float. I would suggest going with floral carbon because floral carbon mine is designed to sink. So it'll sink down in the water column along with your lure. What the hell and, is floral carbon? They got floral carbon at Walmart? Yep. Or do I they have, have floral carbon at Walmart. Yeah. I ain't never even heard of that. Yeah. It, a lot of people use it for leader line. Now, see, back in the day, I used to use a, a nylon monofilm a lot. Yeah. But that was way back in the day, you know. But that was good line there, man. That was some strong-ass line. You want a line that's going to sink when you're using that type of uh, rigging for bass and yeah. stuff. That way you, it gives you a worm more of a lifelike action, like the braid and the mono being made to float on top of the surface. It holds yeah. the Upper end of your lure up some, so you yeah. I was getting right to say, so if line. I'm using a crankbait, it's not going to go as deep, is it? No, it's, it'll go as deep. It's just how do you do the leader to braid? How do you tie the leader to braid? No, I, I use I use a barrel swivel lure, but a lot of these guys don't use barrel swivels. I just tied. Uh, I, I hook them together with barrel swivel. I always use a barrel swivel. Because I feel like you're, you're just going, you're just costing yourself line if you don't use a swivel, man. Because those fish spin and twist, and they, especially carp. You hook yeah. a couple carp with, without a without a swivel on there, that line screwed. Now, depending on what type of weight you use, like you know, you run your weight. Uh, say it's a no roll. You'll run your weight up on the line. You'll run a rubber bead up on line. Tie your swivel to it. And then you'll tie your leader line and your hook to the bottom of that. But if you're using like a, oh, what do they call them? The quarter coin no rolls or just bank yeah. sinkers, then you want to use a uh, slider, swivel, or, well, a weight slider. On I your mean, you, can, you can tie the lines directly together, Lord. I've done that too. Just tie a fisherman knot to a fisherman's knot, yeah, and it'll hold a lot of line line twist. Yeah, there's a lot of line twist when you do that with no swivel, and uh, mm. it can uh, it can it can cause other shit too. But uh, well, but yeah, I mean you a... can tie them together. But the main time I, I'm going, the only time there's only two times I will tie the line together. One, if I'm out of Pay Lake and I don't have a rubber band or a bobber stop. And then I will cut the line 10 foot up and tie it together so it works as a bobber stop. That knot works as a bobber stop, which is still not going to twist because I still got my swivel down below the bobber. And the other time I'll tie a line together is if it's an emergency and I don't have enough line on a reel to fish and I don't have enough line to fill that reel up. Why I will are you tie using the two together stops? and fill the reel up. Huh? Why are you using bobber stops? Why ain't I using bobber stop? Why are you? Oh, because I have bobbers. I haven't bought a bobber in probably 12 years. Oh, I ain't bought none. Or a bobber stop. And yeah. I use bobbers I just all use the time. Bands most of the time. Huh. Go to Walmart yeah, I use and, a lot of play and buy yourself the little bag of balloons. Yeah. Blow the balloon up just so it's whatever size you want and tie it to your line. You don't need a bobber stop. You got your bobber and the stop all in one. Huh. Yeah. 
Yep, sometimes I fish like 12 foot deep. Yeah, I would just have work? 12 foot a liter out there. Your body <laughs> stop when it goes through the eyelets. You're going to freaking catch every now and then and change your yeah. depth. Yeah, my rubber bands don't do that. Yeah, I buy them little hair tie rubber bands and they, they, they go through the eyes pretty smooth. Hey, this had hooks in it, okay? I've never used braid before, so curious how it ties. Just wondering if it's harder to get the knots to stay. I guess I'll have a visual of silky mine. Yeah. Um, I, I've used braid a few times, uh, Laura, and mainly I used it for leaders. Uh, I probably got one laying here. Yeah, I got one right here in this box. I've got so many of the little hair tie rubber bands. It's pathetic. See, this is this this uh is a leader. Um, damn. Uh, this leader here is made out. Oh shit! Blind with light. This is made out of fifty pound braid. It's double. And I tied the same fisherman knot on my on my swivel as I do with monofilament. Wrap it six times and back through the hole. It's the same, it's the only knot I use and it has never failed. Forty two years and it ain't never let me down. Same same knot on the hook. Mm -hmm. And this is fifty pound braid. I think the, I think the knot holds better and tighter than than a, a mono. But one thing about this braid, this particular braid I used here, is it absorbs water. So if you try to wet it when you're pulling the knot tight, it actually swells it up, which will make a loose knot. So you want to pull it tight, dry on this on this particular. A lot of it's um, coated, so it's not going to matter. A lot of wax coated, the braid is. But I use the same damn knot. It don't matter what line I'm using. I wrap it six times back through the loop. If it doesn't hold, because the line's too big for the swivel, or the the swivel's too big for the line, whichever. All the only th difference I do then is I either double the line, make a, a loop at the end, and tie that same knot with the loop, or I'll run it through the the swivel twice and then tie the same knot, and it's still gonna hold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's well, always the same damn knot. Advice for you is if you use. want something really good for mono and braid, pick up Suffolk. Yeah. Fall Nation. Yeah, it, it it doesn't matter which type of line I use. I use that same knot. That's I've mm -hmm. used that damn knot since I was five years old. You know. Great advice and much help. Hell yeah. <clears throat> and because I mean I've I've tried some of these other knots over the years and nothing seemed to be any damn better than the one I used. Matter matter of fact, a couple of them went loose on me. You know so. I just uh, I went back to this one, the one that's never failed me, and that's the one I'm gonna stick with. Oh. And myself, I like Suffolk line. Suffolk, yeah, yeah, I've heard good things about them. I like their braid and their mono; they're both good. I think I used Suffolk mono for catfish years ago. I think so. Then I get man once I once I discovered big game though it's hard to get me off that big game. <sighs> big game's got too much line memory, so when you open the bale on the spinning rod, you end up with the peeling itself off. I don't have that unless I go over twenty five pounds. Twenty five pounds still got pretty decent. Uh, it doesn't have as bad a memory, but once you get thirty and forty and fifty, it's got a lot a lot of memory. Mm -hmm. I never use line that big, so. I usually use anywhere from 30 to 85, or 85 pounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, if I, if I had access to the river, I'd be using, you know, 60-pound line, too, but. Yeah, All right, Paul Nations, as soon as it comes, it'll be on the sticker board. There you go, Catfish Cameron right there even told you. Suffix 832 braid. <laughs> yeah. That's the best braid there See, is. I'm never going to have I'm never going to have braid on my big catfish rod. That's never going to happen. 
because I'm not going to buy the rods that have the stainless steel eyes. I like the ceramic. I'm old school. You can call me hillbilly. I am a hillbilly. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm never going to put a lot of ceramic eyes, too. Yeah. There's a... Uh, <laughs> I hate going to get it because I hate going in the ladies section and picking it up, but go in and get yourself some hard as nails, uh, fingernail polish. Yeah. Paint the inside oh, of the I've eyes. Been fingernail polish the whole time. That's Paint the inside yeah. of the eyes. It huh. helps the braid and go through a lot smoother. Cutting? It helps the braid go through a lot smoother without cutting the heck out of your ceramic eyes. And then when you mm. notice little marks in the heart as nails, you just hit it again. Fill in them little cuts. Catfish camera. Reel I bought for the JV rod is meant to take both braid and mono. Yeah, a lot of the reels are made to take both. It's the rod eyes is what you got to watch out for. That's what we was just talking about. If you put braid on a on a, a rod with ceramic eyes and you don't do anything special to those eyes, and you hook a big fish, it's just going to cut right through it. <laughs> yep, almost, brother. I'll get there. Fishing will get me there. But you can pick all, up. All, any fishing I do is going to be on this channel. Maria still have fishing on her channel, probably, but I'm I'm keeping it off of Dobson because because they all pissed me off over there. Once they pissed me off until I changed my name, then I'm I'm not I'm not putting no fishing over there. And the ones that judge me over there, I hope they they can stay the fuck away from this channel too. Lori said, "All thank you, we map mine." <laughs> Cameron said on an ugly stick with braid, I'll burn out the eyes and strip of casting and breaking the smack. Really? Now see, I didn't pay attention to this ugly stick. If you watch your rods when you buy them, you can buy them with the stainless inserts. So. This is these are stainless, I believe, on this yeah. ugly stick too. Most of these using this mono. Well, that one should be because it's set up for walleye and catfish. Yeah. Yep. Newly designed guides provide maximum durability for use with all types of line including braid, and eliminate insert pop-outs. Lori said, uh-oh, I don't know what the eyes are made of, but I know he waited a very long time for them to arrive. Yeah. Yeah, if they've got stainless inserts, then they're, they're, you're good for braid. Paul said, was you on my last one? Uh, I believe so, for a few. I'm quite sure, Lori, if it's coming from JV, it'll more than likely have stainless eyes. That's what I'm figuring, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we're not gonna be a hundred percent clean over here, Road Warrior, but uh Hillbilly Psycho is definitely gonna be cleaner than Dobson. And that's for the, the, the younger generations. I want kids to be able to watch the shit, learn stuff, and learn what not to do or whatever. But uh you know, I'm just saying that the ones that uh that fucking turned on me on Dobson and until I fucking change my name, that they can still stay the fuck away from this channel. I pissed somebody off the other night. <laughs> pissed somebody off the other night when I went into uh, JV's as God. Catfish camera said, "Yeah, if I could get an ugly catfish, solid eyes would be my favorite rod." Nation said I have catfish rock. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. That's a nice live right there. Here lately, dude, I've I've had to go four or five hours to hit a hundred views sometimes. I've I've had some I've had some slow ones. But that's on Dobson. Uh this is my, probably the only second time I've ever been live on Hillbilly. 
but I got to get my shit up on this channel. So. Ugly stick catfish with solid eyes. You see this? This, like I said, this says walleye rod, man. But I don't see why this wouldn't hook, wouldn't catch catfish. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, fuck, it's an ugly stick, man. <laughs> oh yeah, she ain't going nowhere. But this is seven and a half foot medium light, six to twelve pound line on this rod, so that's kind of low. But <laughs> she said, "I guess I don't know your document." <laughs> yep. Yeah, I got it. I got one called God, and I only bring him out when I'm just seeing if there's any snowflakes falling. And uh, it happened to be snowing that night. Because anybody that knows me, man, you can go to church every Sunday. You can tell me you love your God. You can tell me you believe in God. You can tell me you're you're a God fearing person. That, that's your religion, you're Christian, you're Catholic, you're, you're, you're Jewish, you're whatever. And I'm not going to judge you for it. You know, I'm not going to argue with you about it, and I'm not going to judge you on it. But it seems like half of the people that believe in God, believe in the Bible, go to church, or at least say they do, they, 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 they don't hesitate to judge other people. And see, when I was, when I was raised Christian, I was taught that we're not supposed to judge other people. And even though I still, I do not claim Christianity now, I still believe it's right not to judge other people. You know? No. If you buy rods online, I can tell you there's one right now to stay away from. I've seen that one, the one that Costello got. I just picked one up the other day on Amazon. It's a Shigaling, oh, yeah, two, uh, Shigaling 210. Yeah, the same as those reels that he had. So gay lengths. Oh, them are nice reels. I've got four of them. He, he, no both of his all with trouble them. first time you? Huh, I haven't had any trouble. Yeah, I was watching but the this, Costello when he went live the day he got his. And they both this, gave him shit. This ride is on Amazon for like twenty four or twenty eight bucks. Yeah, Shigali, really nice rod, looking rod anyway. <laughs> but then when I got it, everybody knows what a number two pencil lead, the size of a number two pencil lead is. Yeah, that's the size of the damn tip, basically. Hmm. Hell yeah. Lori said Cameron will love my ugly cat problem. And see, this oh, ugly stick's good. got a thin tip on it. Uh, but, but but it does say it's a, it's a walleye rod, you know what I mean? But it's still an ugly stick. We all know what an ugly stick can take. Yeah. You know, <laughs> at least us that's been around for a while, we know what an ugly stick's capable of. <clears throat> so that's the reason I wasn't too uh wasn't too worried about the uh the thin tip on this one. Oh. Because uh, El Maria's got a, a ugly stick bait pole, thirty three on it, and uh, it's got a thin ass tip, and it doesn't matter, you know. But yeah, yeah, it's probably still hair bigger than a pencil lid. Well, yeah, this is a tip on that ugly stick. I know exactly yeah. what that ride is because Chris, before Christmas, I had three of them. There are three of the rods that went missing out of the pickup. Oh, yeah? These here? Yep. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Yeah, that was only 65 bucks for that combo. I couldn't pass it up. Came out, oh, shit. Be, I don't know, eight, nine months ago when they hit Walmart up here. And I bought my own. Oh, be longer than that, almost a year. When I bought yeah. mine, they were only like 49 bucks for that combo. <coughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Most uh, most ugly sticks I've ever seen, uh, Lori, you can bend them over and touch the bottom. You can bend them around and touch, touch end to end. Even I've I seen that. I've seen a 12-foot, a 12-foot catfish ugly stick rod. 
and we bent that fucker and touched its own ass. And it didn't didn't even crack. It didn't give a rat's ass that we had it doubled up like a freaking pretzel. Them reels will cost you a big fish. You talking about the so gay langs? Cameron? Well, yeah. Lori, because Lori said, um, Michael says she mom loves was her being ugly cat rod, but the reel was junk. Yeah, ugly cat, that's still made by ugly stick, ain't it? Yeah. Still made by ugly stick, yeah. The only thing I don't like from Shakespeare is I'm not crazy about their reels, even though I just bought one. And I'm not going to use their line ever again in my life. The BLF out loud, but them reels will cost you a big fish, Lord. I used my medium heavy ugly stick for cat for four years, even with the eyes cut. Tossing Jay Reed's frog soon, Maria. I'll probably be tossing them. I've been asking uh, advice on uh, whether it's too early to try the frogs or not, and I ain't really got much response. Uh, it's, it's actually a little too early for them. Usually you want lily pads and you want good weed beds, stuff like that. Yeah. Because, see, I mean, even though the water's still cold as shit, there is moss. There is already moss and algae floating on that back pond part. But in my, in my head, the frogs aren't moving. So I shouldn't fish with a frog yet. You know what I'm saying? No, not yet. Once you get good weed bedding, yeah, stuff you can pull it, across it, and pull through the weeds and stuff like that, then they work great. Yeah, because I just kind of tried to break that down in my head, and I was thinking, man, if there's no frog swimming yet, then why why would I fish with a frog? You know. Yeah. But yeah, I am gonna take the buzz baits out. Uh, got my rooster tails out. Actually, no, I don't. I still got to find the rest of my rooster tails. I've got a couple of them. I got more buried back here somewhere. You want to answer Road Warrior real quick? The one you got up on the thing? Yeah, I agree with that 100%, Road Warrior. Shouldn't be any different than down, up, up here than it is down by where you're at, actually. But anything. Oh, Ugly, ugly Cat is the real. real. Or Ugly Cat is the real? Mm -hmm. Okay. Who makes the reel? Shakespeare again? That would explain everything. Shakespeare sucks at making fucking reels. I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest. I know I just bought one, but I'm, I know it sucks. Lori said she's got frogs everywhere here in Myrtle right now. They just came out two weeks ago. Oh, yeah, they'll be hitting there then. But there ain't no frogs moving here yet. Your name isn't here yet. <laughs> I told her I was going to try to throw them. I don't know how to do I don't have no idea how to work loops, but I'm going to try it. Frog, you just real stop, real stop, real stop, like swimming across the top of the water. When it also, you know how a frog kicks its, water, yeah. you know how it kicks its feet and just goes forward and it stops yeah. and kicks its feet and goes forward? That's how you really you bring it, you stop it, bring it, you stop it, bring it, you stop it. If there's lily pads, moss, shit like that, that's the reason they're all weedless. You want to throw right up in that shit as, far, as much as you can. Where you wouldn't dare throw another fucking lure because you know it ain't coming back. You know that frog's gonna come through there. It's not gonna snag, snag on it. Right. So you can throw it right up in them bushes and then fucking moss and all that shit and pop him back out of there and there's bass sitting there waiting on him, you know. Cameron said, Yeah, it's a combo reel that comes on the catfish rod and big water rod model. Crappy Shakespeare. Yep, exactly. That's what I'm saying, man. Ugly stick. Is one of, if not, yeah, if not, ugly yeah, the ugly the stick, the ugly stick rod made by Shakespeare is one of, if not the greatest fucking fishing pole ever made. Just absolute badass. But when they come <laughs> to making reels, they suck bad. Their line sucks. Their reels suck. But they got it right with the ugly stick, man. Your boy Troy, what's up? Awesome, but for real, yeah. Good rod. Ugly I'm stick cat rod, yep. You know, and I was looking at those out there too, but I, I, I've I'm already got more, I'm going to have more rods when I do real. 
that's going to be a problem. This new rod that I that I just ordered from Walmart.com. Uh, well, I started to say Lori'd like it, but I don't think she likes that collar any more than you do. So neither one of you guys is going to like it as much as I do, but it's mine, so it's all good. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you until it gets here. You'll see. <laughs> <coughs> but yep, I should have a, uh, I should have two more rods Friday, one for the Cast King, and one for Pay Lake catfishing that doesn't have a reel for you yet. So I'm probably going to end up putting, um, probably just put my six five hundred on there. I got a six five hundred and seven thousand, and the seven thousand probably going to have to stay on twelve foot or so. She said, "Few and glad we got that all cleared up now." <laughs> oh yeah, I knew what she's saying, man. I had heard the ugly cat or ugly cast. I'd heard that before, but I just couldn't remember. But I, I assumed it was made by Shakespeare. And yeah, there's there. I don't I don't doubt you a bit. The real suck. <laughs> now I have an old ass uh, Shakespeare tiger push button. It's probably it's probably twenty five years old or older. I had to put a button on it, make a button for it, and uh, I've caught I've caught thirty five or thirty thirty one yeah I caught a thirty one pound flathead on that reel. Anti reverse don't work, work, but seconds away from just popping up there on town. <laughs> well, come on up, Lori. Well, come up. I didn't hear what you said. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Cameron said, "What's the largest line you use in the small creek spot?" Uh. I don't go below six, man. Um, I I did put four pound on it, and, and I'll tell you why. I put four pound on an ultralight rod uh, when I was about 18 years old. I was fishing the park in Wilmington, Ohio, fishing for uh, carp and yellow bellies with, with pieces of bread. Well, I hooked onto a carp that day, and with this four pound line, and this ultralight rod. I, That's what I can't I wait fought to start this. Growing. Yeah, that does look cool shit. I'm See, that look looked good on that on that rod I just got. Yeah. That walleye rod. It, it threw that. But um These are the ones uh, from J V. We're gonna go out northern and musky fishing with these guys. And then there's four frogs. All right, Troy, gotta go back to work. Why well, younger people should not watch my videos. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Okay, but I had this four pound line on here, and uh, I, I hooked this cart, and I fought this fucking cart for an hour and 15 minutes. <coughs> In an hour and 15 minutes, I hadn't even seen the fish yet. Uh, there was, I had a crowd of people gathered around. I had 10, 12 people standing there watching me at this point. You know, an hour-long fish fight. Well, this guy took his shoes off and waded out in the shallow water where I had this carp up at. And <coughs> if he would have wrenched underneath this carp, he was, the carp was tired. I mean, we were both fucking tired. If he would have tried to reach underneath this fish, we would have at least seen it. But he just, he grabbed the line. And y'all know, you don't, y'all know, you can't grab the line, especially when it's four pound test. I mean, he touched the line and the, and the fish turned his head and it, that's all she wrote. And, uh, I've never, I've never bought four pound test since then and probably never will. It's, it's pushing it for me to use six, but I, I do use six. Cause sometimes eight and 10 is too heavy. In certain certain spots in the creek, when you're trying to throw up in tight spots with with ultra lights and stuff, but uh, but uh, four is two, four and two is just too small. I've seen people using two pound line, and I'm like, what the hell, dude? I've caught bluegills that would break that shit. That's why I use a lot of braid. Yeah. But hell, I didn't know Braid broke on the rocks like that until I watched DMV, man. He lost a lot of fish fishing with that damn Braid down there when it was rocking. Mm -hmm. 
my 25 pound big game will flip a rock before it breaks. Evan! He said, What lurch? Ace holding up the big old musky lurch. <sighs> He's a bugly. Michael just put a few camo stick pound test on a rod my mother brought home for me. It was all beat up and Mike cleaned it all up like me for me. Is it that red and green and, and like red, green, tan uh, line? It's it's camo on the spool. I love that line. And that six pound test, that, yeah, that's my – well, I have two favorite six pound tests. It's that one and the, the, the yellow Mr. Crappie six pound. Both those are, are damn good lines. I had that camouflage line on my on my crick poles for like three years once, and, and it still wasn't breaking. It was still catching everything in the hook. I was watching my Avid's live stream this morning. He had a really good live stream going there for a little bit, and then he had some guys show up that couldn't shut up. <laughs> So he had to shut down. Right. Is it nose green, white, and all that? Hell yeah, Cameron. So he don't use uh, lows. He goes six pound, but I you know, unit not the ten, ten pound main line. So you're talking about your leader six pound hooked to, to hooked to ten pound main line on your reel. It also caught me my first. Now, see, that seems completely backwards to me, but it works. But but my whole life, I've tied, I would tie a six-pound line, main line, onto a 10-pound leader. You know what I'm saying? And now most of the people I've met on YouTube do it the complete opposite way. I always have 50 do it pound the opposite way, on too. I'll use 30-pound line and then a 25-liter. Yeah. My, my leader is always lighter than my main line. For the simple fact, I'd sooner have that hook break off than have to break off my line clear up into my spool. Yeah. Wait till you see the rod I got coming Friday, Avid. You're really going to think it's brilliant. Avid said he deleted that line. That Ace was just talking about. Deleted it? He got up and yeah, he had some idiots oh, yeah. start come up and start talking a bunch of stuff and you know you can just kick him off panel right no he was live at the where he was fishing when the guy came up there next to where he was fishing oh. talking to him so <laughs> i know you got a fucking taser bigfoot <laughs> you don't even have to hit him with it just get one of them real loud fucking tasers you go, pop 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 when you hit the trigger on it, yeah, you just hit that sucker up in the air a couple times. They'll leave you alone, man. It works Evan every time. Him, Ed, Evan told him he's live like three or four times, and the guy just didn't seem like he cared. Orange and yellow camo. Huh, I'd never seen that. It still might be good. Hell yeah. I almost got a dial with Baycaster today, too, until I, until I found out Lowe's combo. Dial I was going to get it. I was going to buy a rod and reel. Yeah, I know Dial was good. I, I've always liked Dial. I, I like their open face, their bait casters. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I've always liked Dial. I was sorry to see that happen to you there, Abbott. That was a good live you had going. Now, see, that would scare the hell out of me fishing for carp with a lighter, lighter leader, man. 
because that's the hardest fighting fish I've ever caught. I haven't said that game You know what I mean? I'd be scared to death to hook a 30 pound carp and I got a 10 pound leader hook 20 pound line. You know? Oh man, I don't know. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to try it out at some point because there's just too many of you guys fish the same way. I'm gonna have to give it a shot. I'm debating on whether I'm gonna fit. I, I missed the last two days. I should have went fishing the last two days. Well, you know what happened today. I woke up and I wasn't broke anymore, so I ended up at Walmart instead of the fucking water. But uh, uh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, but I, I I'm thinking about going fishing in the rain anyway. Well, make sure you leave some of that there on your cart or in the bank. That way, when when May comes there, I'll just come fish my smoke on here, Lori. You not realize we smoke, Willie? I was just showing off uh, one of the presents Maria bought me but out of her stomach. It was my ten dollar Tamil non filters. The OG baby, good shit right there. Hey, Willie, you'll have to save some of that back so you can come fish Mendota with us in May. Where? Lake Mendota. Lake Mendota. Where's that at? Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah, but me and C, I've, I've had this talk with DMV already, dude. Are they going to let me bring my damn poles on a bus? Well, they should if they're breakable. Because I'm going, yeah, yeah, all my big rods break down. They break down to at least the, the, the I mean, the, the 12-foot are still six-foot sections, but I've got 10s and 9s and 7s and 8s. They'll fit in that little slide compartment under the bus. Oh, I got you. Huh? Choo-choo! Cameron said they are so pressured here. I get way more fish to keep them in that clear six-pound leader. But I've caught cars oh. on the way down on it. They probably See, now that makes sense, man. And see, I think I did real good when I had that camo line I was just talking about, too, because I think it was harder for fish to see, especially if I was fishing an area with leaves on the bottom. If you laid that, that line across leaves, dude, you wasn't going to see it. But, man, I do good with this bright yellow shit, too, though, man. See, I, so, I mean, I've, I've had my times that I wondered if the line mattered, but at the same time, most of the time I fished with this yellow line, it ain't been clear water. It's been it's been muddy water, or at least highly mur murky, low visibility. See now, your line color to me doesn't yeah, really matter as long as you use a clear morning. clear mono leader. They see that leader long before they see the line. Yeah. yeah. So see that makes sense if I'm fishing if I'm fishing clear water, that makes perfect sense. If if my line's not clear to put a clear leader off there, could look bad. They can't do. Hell. Oh. I have a surprise for him tomorrow. Surprise for who? The guy he was talking about. The guy he's talking about? You gonna give him a rock bottom? Or did you get a taser like I was talking about? <laughs> Abbott doesn't do uh, boats, but if he had a boat, he could use him for an anchor. <laughs> right. <laughs> that idiot. He said butter, not even. Yeah, I went ahead and got me some of these, uh, four of these rod holders, the spring ones. Yeah, they're not too bad. The only thing I don't like yeah. about them is you got to keep a good eye on them. Because right. they don't quite go down in the ground deep enough for a big fit cat. Yeah. You get a and good see, and I was thinking, I was thinking bank. about, uh, I was thinking about uh, extending that, trying to figure out a way to extend that, like you did the boat ones. But I mean, these aren't threaded, of course, so I'd have to go a different route about it. Um, no, you can do that one too, the same exact way that I 
do the other ones. Um, let's see if I got it laying here somewhere. What, just, just thread it myself? Go get yourself a tap, a pair of vice grips. Oh, yeah. Bank. Thread it and then get some threaded rod and a couple or not, and you can do the same thing to yep. that. Yep. Lengthen it out. He said, mine goes all the way in the ground. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I can get them. I can get them down here in the ground. Yeah, I can get them clear to the base. But if I'm in the soft creek bank, uh, a, a decent car for channel cat still going to bend that sucker. I would take my rod with him. I know what Ace thought about. It'll pull it out of the mud. Yeah, and, and most of the time I don't have my reels locked anyway, but if I'm fishing current, I have to. Um, shoot, Where did I put it? I just got my new rod holder. Uh, I actually broke down and ordered one, but. Damn, I should have fucking done that while I was a bass pro. Fuck. Got our other, our other go, to, rod holder. go to Amazon, Willie, and bank rod holders. They're 31 bucks a piece, but they are really nice. Well, see, mine's like 15 something. The ones I use. The ones sticking the ground. Yeah, just like that. That's exactly what I got one, but I only had enough money to get one at the time. So I'm gonna get me get me a couple more of them. But then you can see yeah, what I've got things. hanging. You can see what I've got I hanging on here too, though. I can put. Oh yeah, you got your bunch of cords on there. They're actually yep. uh, dollar store dog leashes, and then the big carabiners. Yep. That way I can hook these to my rods and just lean them up against there. They're not going nowhere. Right. They can yank my rod right up over it, and they're not going anywhere because they're tied to it. And then I'm yep. going to tie a rope off of that to a nearby tree. Because we got some really nice, really nice sturgeon up oh, here. And when them sturgeon hit, your rod's gone if you're not on top of it. There ain't no instructions. That was everything. That's awesome. I can take you to a spot, Abbott. If you don't tie down your rods, I'll guarantee you, you will lose <laughs> one or two rods a day. Oh, yeah. I can take you to Deer Creek. If you, if you uh, leave the reels locked, you don't hook for something. They're gone. <laughs> <laughs> no, them rod holders are on Amazon. Just link. type in bank rod holder. Yep. Yeah, bank rod holder. Dude, they, they're, they're amazing. They got rubber coating on them. You can, I can put I can put three twelve footers lined up on that sucker. Yeah, you know, no problem at and, all. Uh, oh, they're they're awesome. And I, uh, the reason I want more is uh, I want, I like to be able to put my rods <laughs> all the way up off the ground, especially when I'm fishing in the rain. Which when I'm fishing in the bay lakes, man, my reels never locked anyway. It's it's got the clicker on the reels and the spools open. But I like having the pole clear up off the ground when it's raining. Keep that grit out of your reel. I don't know what it would cost to ship. He's talking about the length of the fold. Yeah, it's cheaper just to order them. Yeah, to order them and have them sent to you than it is to pay the ship, I believe. That's not what I was getting at. Um, I don't know if I got them on here or not oh. yet. And yeah, Bass Pro has them too, but they were actually cheaper at Amazon. Bass Pro, they're twenty one dollars, I think. And they were fifteen ninety nine when I got mine from Amazon. Or they could have been twenty on Amazon, fifteen ninety nine at Bass Pro. I can't remember. It was one of the two. Cheaper spring rod hold. Yeah, yeah. These were only a couple bucks at Wally World. Yeah, these Walmart Ozark Trail specials, man. It's only uh. Maybe a foot. Hell, I got a tape measure laying right here, matter of fact. I did. Some fucking where it is. Yeah, that I used the ones from Walmart for five dollars. They cut whisker stickers and they the small butt rods. This ain't even eight and a half inches. The the spike on this rod holder. It's not even eight and a half inches long. It's just short of that. So that's all we got in the ground. Is is. Eight eight and a quarter inches. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. But hell, 
heavier gauge. Yeah, yeah, these ain't these ain't ain't that heavy either. I, that's why I mainly got them for the creek with my smaller poles, uh, carp fishing, channel cat fishing, yellow belly fishing, stuff like that. The five dollar one. <coughs> I'm not sure which ones those are, Cameron. Five dollar. I didn't, man. Are you talking about the boat rod holders like Ace made up? Or are you talking about bank? You know, you fish bank. Uh, I've seen your rod holder. Yeah, see, both these were two something apiece. These spring ones. And uh, these here, they're called uh, pistol grip rod holders. These here, they, these were both like under $3 each. But this one here, if you can get that down in the ground, you can actually, this is actually quite a bit more sturdy if you can get this uh, this flat piece in the dirt. But uh, I don't, they only had two of those and I got a boat. I would the one, yeah, he's seen that one. And we Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They don't. There it is. <laughs> Them are rod holders right there, I build. Okay. Yeah. Now, see, if I buy these same rod holders, me and Ace talk about, if I buy them out of Pay Lake, I'm paying twenty five ninety nine. I think it is, or $24.99, something like that, because he's making money off of it, too, you know. But, uh, yeah, I, the one I, I ordered was only uh, 16 bucks, so that's a hell of a lot better deal. But they don't hold the pole. I mean, uh, like like you all probably thinking about, we, these, you just kind of prop the rod up against it, you know. But. What's that? Adam, no. All you really need to do for good bank rod holders, go to Walmart. They have these bank rod holders. No. I didn't have them. <laughs> Couple or not, and no, to grab. You can knife <laughs> them right out. I should, I should have got those today. I should have went ahead and did that today. No, the cats I catch would bend that thing all to hell. They ain't <laughs> bending that over. <laughs> yeah, they would. Three flowers. Eighty-three pounds oh. blue would bend that thing like nothing. Right. That's what well, I them ones, them ones behind me. They won't bend, and all that is is two inch uh, coupler pipe. And then they're welded the half inch rod. That's why I'm going to stick with my heavy gauge uh, spring rod holders that I use. I've had 80 pound cats in them, and the, those spring rod holders, when they're in the ground right, that spring will hold on, grip the handle after a certain angle of bend, and that cat ain't getting that rod out of there. Yeah, they work great in dry, solid ground, but when you're in sand and muddy area. I've been in sand and mud, and I haven't lost them yet. I've had them flip right over, pull right out of the dirt. I haven't had a problem with them yet. Especially when the big sturgeon comes along and they hey, pull right out of the ground. Well, as long as you have a drag set right, you ain't going to lose anything. <laughs> Lori. Oh, my gosh. I feel like we're on the uh, break Lori, lunch. I have your package in the truck. I just have to repackage it, and I'll try to get that for you this week. What are we talking about? Mine? Your package that you had me make for you. Oh, yes. Thank you. I got to get it repackaged, and I'll have it out for you this week sometime. Thank you. Road Warrior uh, sent $10 on PayPal. Thank you, brother. I grabbed my uh, battery bank, and then I don't know what I just did with it. So I might have to pop off just to go grab my... I'm not prepared. <laughs> I was doing reviewing a uh, set of Lyle's... Uh, Jigs that he said on bar mark when yeah. he did a nice job on them jigs. Hold on, yeah, I, I was enjoying them. Oh, I gotta plug in this yeah. way. <laughs> what? Oh, my battery bank's yeah. out of my truck. All right, I gotta take this apart so I can show you. Ooh, yeah, see, it's real soft what? banks around this creek here most of the time, too, especially when it's low. 
Hey, Willie. I'm back here in the woods where we fish because it never sees daylight. The sunlight never hits that bank. Willie, I'll show you. I'll show you orangey. Nice. That is a oh, nice. Oh, I see. Yeah, it yeah really, I like that line. Yeah. I like so that line. My mother yeah. actually brought this home because it was found in one of a, a condo somewhere. And she brought this home and it was all junked up and everything. And um, the reel was all bound up and stuff. And But it still had like the, the plastic covering on the cork. And um, it still had a tie around the where the reel comes on. You know, it still had a... So it was like it was new and hardly even used, but it looked old. And Michael, yeah. Michael actually took this whole thing apart. I mean, every little piece, every little nook and cranny. <coughs> um, he said it was full of sand. Yeah. And then he um, soaked all the parts and pieces for me, put it all back together, cleaned the rod up real nice. It's, it looks amazing. Yeah, pretty cool. I'm pretty stoked. Oh, and, yeah. and the line is is cool. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that is awesome line. looking. It's like yellow and orangey red and yeah, that's camel line yep. there. Right. That's some good stuff. Great. I highlight it. Yeah, I'll show off my braided line when my JV rod comes. I that's part of the um, package that I haven't done an unboxing for yet. Um, but he did send me a message and tell me that my parts came in uh, that we've been waiting on. So I'm pretty excited. So how are you liking the tackle so far? I love it. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm definitely using it. I lost quite a bit the other day. Um, you know, we're all catching my, my first catch, but I won't talk too much. I'm working on the... Um, I but think whatever, whatever tackle you need, just make a list and let me know. Oh, I think I'm... Oh, thank you. No, I'm good. No, um, I'm saying that whatever you need that you can't get, let me know and I'll get it for you. Yeah. I should be able to order anything I need online, but yeah. you, guys have, you guys have helped me enough. I don't know what's going on. I'm fiddle farting again. Because I got a bait shop right within 45 minutes of me. I can go get it and have it in the mail within 20 minutes. Oh. Uh, um, fuzzy grubs, Abbott. If you can find fuzzy grubs, let me know. I have to go to the shop see if they have them. I'm looking yeah. for the uh, white ones. They're the white uh, one inch grub. Right. And they got a pink tail. Uh huh. I know what you're looking for. Just like that. But oh. take that tail off there, uh, Laura. Those and are put good a for, uh, pink feather tail in that. Those are good for striped bass and bluegills. I yeah. bought one that's purple and pink I like for the for, feathers. It's really cool. I didn't bring all that in, though. It's all in the I book. like them for crappie. Crappie hit them up here just left and right. Hey, Willie. I'll do a comparison video of the rod holders you got and the ones I use. Yeah. I'll show you the size differences and what, what they do. That's what she said. Because I said, <laughs> I, I said, knew that was going uh, same kind of uh, heavy gauge spring rod holders that I use. So I know when you get them pushed all the way in the ground, they're not going anywhere. Yeah. Survival LT, Survival LT, what's up? Yeah, I can't see chat right now. So if anybody's saying anything at all about anything, I can't see it. Have you got a fleet farm down around uh, here? When you were showing that rod off, Cameron said, uh, Catfish Cameron said that's the kind of gear I'd use for musky. Talking about that rod you shown. Musky? Yeah, I use that for yeah. musky. I'd use I a rod like that for musky is. and walleye. That, that's uh, saying it'll it'll catch a musky, a catfish, anything you want to catch pretty much. Yeah, you can catch a musky, you can catch a walleye, you can catch, catch yeah. a big that's a bass up. rod. That's not <laughs> now this is this that's a is big reel for bass catfish. This is a... I ran across an eight oh eight on a seven foot Medium heavy. Uh, Road Warrior sent another ten dollars. Uh, medium think, heavy catfish rod. Yeah, I think this would be good for the bass fishing and stuff, but not no. cat fishing. Uh, My, the reel you could put on a cat rod is probably big enough. It's four thousand, ain't it? It should say it's five thousand. Four or five. That's a five. I was just wondering. 
I was it's just thinking about that. I wonder if it's all like that. And it's a bass reel and rod. Yeah, I wonder if it's a ugly stick rod I just bought would work for bass. And I can put one of them, uh, I can put the, really the reel on it. it and put the other one, the Shakespeare on another rod. Oh What's the reel you got on it? I'm going to run out and go get my cat rod so I can show you the reel I just put on there. Willie? All right. Huh? What reel do you have on that uh, ugly stick? Or the Shakespeare. It's it was a combo I got today. It's got the line counter on it. it it's kind of a cheap Shakespeare bait caster. It's got a nice. It's, a, it's got a loud ass bait runner on it. The clicker. That's a, that that reel is a catfish reel. But if you change that that yeah uh, reel to another one like a low profile uh, Shakespeare HES, that'd be a good bass reel. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But that really good out there. I'd keep that one for catfish. Yeah, because it's seven and a half foot medium light, six to twelve pound line, one eight to five ounce lure. That sounds like a bass rod to me. That's you know a bass I mean? rod, but that real ain't a bass rod. Bass reel. No, that that's catfish reel. That's a catfish reel. Bass rod. Exactly. It's the first time I ever had one with a line counter on it. That's what I'm saying. That's a catfish rod for uh, trolling and drifting. Yep. Which I don't do either one without a boat, but well, you, even though you can still tell how much line you have out. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was telling Maria because you know when you're out in a big lake, you know you cast out there and you get a hit. Well, then you cast out again. You might hit the same distance. You might not have. With that there, I can you know I know how far out I'm casting. If, I, if I'm getting a bite at 60, 60 yards out, then I'm gonna know it's sixty yards out. You know what I mean? Right. Yep, I well, like it. Bait casters with uh, that kind of line feeder on it, the line counter on it. Yep. You can always match your distance. Even though if you go over your cast, you can, retreat, yeah, you can bring it back. back to where you had that last bite. Exactly. Yeah, I've never I've never had that advantage before. It's always just been a guessing game, hoping I hit the right spot. <laughs> so I hope I, you guys got enough tackle to get you started this year. Oh, yeah. Yep, definitely. 10-pound baby. Now I'm just waiting for the damn lake to open. Uh, the only thing it says on the message, they'll be open in April, so we don't know if it's going to be April 1st or what. No, the I should lake? probably hang on some money for that. What What's your closest lake around you that you can go to? Pay Lake or State Park? State Park. State Park would be Deer Creek. It's 25 bucks in a cab one way. Twenty-five bucks in cab one way. Yep. It'll be fifty dollars for the round trip. Well, I already figured. I was figuring that one out. Yeah. Do you fish above the dam or below the dam? Uh, it depends on what I'm fishing for. If I'm fishing for catfish, I fish. Uh, I fish above it. If I'm fishing for uh, walleye, uh. Walleye or smaller cats or uh, white bass, crappie, stuff like that. Most of the time, I go below the dam. Okay. I normally get my bigger cats below the dam, right up tight to the dam. I've caught all my big cats now, below the dams. Now, right up against the dam on the lake side, man, there's some monsters. There's some monsters. But uh, I think the way they've got the dam built, I don't think that the big, big ones can I don't know. I can't say they can't come through because I've seen 40s and 50s caught down there, but I mean, they're so few and far between. You yeah, know, see, every once in a great, great while, somebody catches them off. And, you know, I mean, it's where, the concrete, where the concrete comes out, where the water's coming down below the dam, usually right at that lip, it's a straight drop off. And if you can get straight down, down at the bottom, bottom, that's where the right? thing Exactly. Out. Exactly. Ooh, uh, road war. Most of the time, uh, most most fishermen have been practicing social distancing since the beginning of time, because nobody wants to fish right next to somebody else. No, and especially if you're not even fishing together. You're not even the same party. No, you don't want to just fish right next to someone. So you yeah, know. we've been we've been Except practicing that since the beginning of time. Buddy, <laughs> Avid's newfound buddy he got today. He was right up there close. Yeah, I guess what he went to jail too. 
to the nice catfish ride. was my favorite part. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Hell yeah. That's cool shit, man. Yeah, that's okay. that is cool. Yeah, no, that's what I just did. Is that just like that one? No. See? Oh, okay. Mine's close. But mine says walleye. See, I don't, I don't have a uh, ugly stick. Oh, actually, I have one ugly stick, and that's a dock runner. This is a just a Walmart Opti X sixty. That's, that's a good rod. The reel. Oh, that's yeah. a good reel. They're nice reels. I used to have three of them. They had that one. Well, I ain't gonna buy no egg beat. So I took. Yeah, this is that's a, a good reel. reel. Yeah, that's a twenty-nine dollar reel. I or thirty-nine bucks. Yeah, thirty bucks. I this like the rod, but not, this yeah, is what came on it. No, yeah, that's, that's, that's junk. Real. That's straight junk. It's wicked. <laughs> that reel, I wouldn't trust you much. But this one, <laughs> yeah, that's a real good reel. There, that's about. a good yeah. reel for cats. Oh, yeah. and it's much bigger. Well, yeah, but that yeah. white one—that's a better fit for a ugly stick rod. That white reel, that white Shakespeare reel, ain't made as strong as the other one is. Well, the problem was every time I would like right now, it seems okay. But what would happen is I'd go to reel in. It bind up. Yeah, it would like. Well, yeah, that's it, that's the gears because it's junk. <laughs> yeah, it would stop, and I'd be like, and then Michael would be going, "You you can't stop really. You can't. You got to keep going." And I'm like. Uh, I can't, you know. It if won't the, it, if the, gear, <laughs> the gears are jamming up inside because they don't have the grease. Yeah. It's what? Yeah. The uh, the gears inside there are not greased. So they're going to walk the up. handle? That's what she said. It's all plastic, I guess, is why. Now, you can plastic. actually lock really that up by hand right now with it in your hand. Just pull up on the spool and it'll lock. <laughs> yeah. So, it's the way it's yeah. built. Actually, yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's it's a Shakespeare reel. There's nothing that, there's nothing you can do about it. I hate there was it nothing was, you can do about it, it when it came out of totally factory. This, yeah, it was totally this whole yeah. reeling thing, and I was like, yeah, right. I put yep. what am I putting? You know, eight ounce weight on there sometime, and I'm like, I can't. Shakespeare you know, did, Shakespeare makes a good ride, but they don't make a good reel. Yeah, and ugly this, stick. This they here, they should just stick with ugly sticks. Yeah, this <laughs> one here, Michael was with me in the store, and that's this is what he said. Get get this, and yep. what a different what a difference yep. this for for the price. Yep. So for the price of that reel, you did good. Yeah, I mean it's it's a what you can tell it's a lot better quality and everything, uh -huh. and I do I oh, love yeah. the power handle. Yeah, and and the rod the rod's one of the best ones built. So. Oh, the rod is amazing. I am so happy I did get that because, you know, I was going to wait because JV is doing this. But now it's been held up, held up. So I'm glad I got that to get me go, get me by. Yeah. Um, and I love <coughs> the telescoping rod. That's awesome, too. But when mom <laughs> handed me this, this Daiwa, I was like, are you kidding me? It's a Daiwa. She's like, what does that mean? I'm like, it's just a good rod. And it looks brand freaking new. I you sent know, you that telescoping rod for both a joke and for bait fish. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I always trust uh, ugly stick rods. Uh, I would but, totally uh, get it. I would totally get another. Yeah. I would totally get another ugly stick for sure. Yeah. Um, I just, you know, I'd probably be better off not to get the combo. Right. Cause what's the point? If the if the reel's going to be junk, what's the point? Yeah, I yeah. mean, sure. Now it's and that's what I was saying. You know, I have a Shakespeare Tiger reel push button that's probably probably about thirty years old, and uh, it's I'll, I'll still trust that thing any day of the week. But that's when they they, they actually cared about the, the stuff they sold for twenty bucks at Walmart. No, but now you get another you one, you get a junk reel. What? If you if you're gonna buy another rod and reel combo, what I would suggest, Laura. Now I tell you what, Cascade rods and reels. And they're nineteen are yeah nineteen bucks at Walmart. What what was the what was it? I'm sorry. 
JV yeah. actually sent me this here. If you're going to buy another con uh, rod, and, rod and a reel, buy yeah. the same reel you have right now there, the optics. And go with the uh, Berkeley Big Game. Oh, yeah. I've heard a lot about the Berkleys. They're that just as nice as that other rod you have right there. Is that um run the same price as the, uh, as the ugly stick? Yep. Or it's actually a little cheaper than what the ugly stick is for the rod. And actually. But that rod is just as good as the ugly stick. So you're saying it'll bend over backwards without breaking? Oh, yeah. Close to it. I mean, will it was the ceiling fan? Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're seven foot. Now, for an inexpensive rod, yep. <laughs> I'll stick with my uh, Akuma and my uh, Cat Busters. Those are good, solid rods. Yeah, but that's getting up higher price. No. My Cat Busters are 11 bucks a piece out of, Walmart, uh, out of Bass Pro. And my Akumas are $39 a piece. So that ain't that high a price. Yeah. Um, Ace was showing off his... Uh... That's a cool little lure. That's a crappie lure. Right. Hopefully it's, it's a bass. Plug. Hopefully it's going to be a bass lure. Yeah, bass is going to inhale that thing. Yeah. A crankbait. Then I yeah, you catch big bluegill, crappie, or skip jack. You'll all catch anything on that. I don't know what I'm gonna catch. Y'all got skip jack in the river too, don't you? Yeah, I, I do. What? I don't even know what a skip jack yeah. is, so I don't know. No, I'm pretty sure you do. Well, I guess it's called some kind of herring or something. Oh, actually, herring. Yeah, they got herring. Out. We got skip jack. I mean, speak English. Yeah, people. yeah. I, I call them skip jack. Most people call them skip jack. I have no idea what this is. I've caught a lot of fish on those lures, man. I've caught a lot that's of fish. A bass on those. Lure. That's a swimming shad. Yeah, it's a swimming shad, yep. and I love it. Right. And I got these little baby swimming shads. Snap the tip off of it. Which one? <laughs> one of them Berkleys that Ace was talking about? Boy, that, what are you trying to do? Catch crappie? Said, snap the tip off of them rocks. That was bass. Oh, that might have been crappie. That's a crappie jig there. Yeah, I got, I do have the bait jigs. Well, we can't use crappie as bait here, though. Oh, you can? No. <laughs> Just don't tell anybody what you do. Hey, I, try, crappie, I keep telling y'all. Hey, good eating. Ace. <coughs> those are good, those are good yeah. jigs. <coughs> what you those do is you put the crappie on and jigs. you cast it out before you go live. And then when you hook a fish, you say you had chicken breast on. See, it's 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 simple. I will keep chicken on the grill. I can't I can't believe right. I did not and th and these are in there. I haven't used them, but those are cool bobbers. I cannot believe that I did not catch those catfish. I mean, I caught my catfish on shad. Um, but yeah, I'm doing. I'm hoping to do it as a premiere. So I've been working on cutting up some videos and um, putting stuff together. And I don't know if there's. I've never done a premiere, so I don't know if there's a time limit or how that works. Well, if you're doing a premiere, you can make it as long as you want. Oh, you can. It's gonna be on your live, so you can. You can if you're doing a premiere video, you can make it as long as you want, so it's gonna be on your live, and you can control how long it goes. Oh, you can. Yeah, you oh, can yeah, edit. I mean, like putting my video together as long right. as I want. You can edit it down for as long as you want, or you can make it as long as yeah. you want. Because it's gonna go on your live if yeah. you're gonna do it that yeah, way. Yeah, but once the video, once the video has played through, <laughs> then then it shuts off the live chat and it ends the live chat and all that. Yeah, right. I think then they can watch replay that, shit. Yeah, I figured that because that would be through YouTube, and then if I want to actually come up and go live afterwards, I'd have to go on through StreamYard. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Actually, if you go through uh, StreamYard, it won't shut off. You just keep it going that way. I can do, um, yeah, but I don't know how to. No, do she a can't. She can't do the. She can't do the premiere and stay live afterward on the same thing. On StreamYard, you can. You can. You can do the premiere up through StreamYard. 
Yeah. Or just show, you mean share share screen and show it. Right. Share show screen her video and, show it. and then. Uh, right. Yeah, but I don't have a laptop. I'm running on a mobile. Okay, that that's yeah, where you need the laptop. It's a lot. There's a lot of shit more difficult on the phone. I can't use green screen on the phone. Uh, there's a lot of shit I can't screen share on my phone. Uh, yeah, there's a lot yeah, of shit right. I can't do on the phone. Yeah. I mean, like, right now, I could probably, I guess you can see chat in here if you want to, but then I wouldn't see. Uh, are you, is your phone up and straight up and down or is it sideways? It's a little long You're way. sideways. Oh, because see, I got mine sideways and I got the whole chat over on the right, but I'm the host too, so. Yeah, but you're the host. Right. Yeah, you got to hit chat and it covers up everybody's face. Yeah. I but remember. I think, yeah, I don't know, but I think um, I could, if I wanted to see chat, I could do it, but then I would lose the screen. I wouldn't see you guys. Right. Or right. But if the person does it, she can't find the chat room. No, that's only YouTube. She's on StreamYard with us. She's on oh, the panel. Yeah, I so they you. don't okay. see the chat unless they so open chat. The same thing. They can only see the chat you. if they open the chat, which covers up everybody's face. Well, mine, because of me being the host, I've yeah, got I everybody over here, there, and then the chat's the over here. The same way I yeah. yeah. Tell you what, Maria, you and Willie Fish, and I'll watch for people coming too close, laughing my <laughs> ass off. No, I just, hey, I just use laser gun and rocket. <laughs> the hell with man, you? Man, I don't know, man. Y'all, yeah, I... Man, it's, if that happens to me, I'm going to have to leave the string, too. And it might because it's like criminal evidence. But, you know, I might just snap and start beating the dude's face off a tree out there in the fucking woods or something. I, I, didn't, you know. I was working, so I didn't see any of that. So it sounds like you have somebody interested. Uh, yeah, I on. missed it, too. I did. I, I missed say, it, too. Ace told me about it, and then Abbott's like, nope, I deleted it. <laughs> I, I, I dinged the screen. If a uh, fishing game wanted to show up, I was going to beat the living crap out of him. So what right. happened? That's gonna be the drunk to a bloody pole. Was he drunk? Oh, he was drunk. Yeah, he's a uh, he has a long record with a uh, fishing game and the police in that park. He has a track record <coughs> with them about ten miles long, and they won't arrest him. See, man, and people can't can't say that us fishing community ain't entertaining. We had Costello out there, dude, show up. The guy show up shooting the fucking gun off out in the middle of fucking nowhere. We had Chunky. We had a dude walking underneath his rods that night. Chunky called the cops and made himself look like a douchebag. And then we had to, the, the, then the homeless people on DMV's fucking live stream. And then have it as this dude today. What do they call dude, him? We're some the, entertainment. What they Hagen call the guy on DMV's? Hagen London had that too. They had a name for the guy on DMV's. About, I think, the, the F bomb guy or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and I was like, oh, no, no, motherfuckers. I said, no, no. Nobody's taking that title from me. I said, if you want, I said, well, I'll come up right now and I'll, you know, I'll put it, I'll put it in every sentence. Don't matter. But I said, y'all ain't taking my title. <laughs> well, appreciate but that, that was it. That was a that was like a fan or a dude that had a YouTube channel. The guy you're talking about, he called the F bomb guy. But no, there was another time him and Charlie was out there and, and they was fishing around a bunch of homeless people. And these okay. dudes were pissed because they were set up with all the lighting and shit. And he was live on YouTube. The dude singing "Sweet Home Alabama," just drunker and shit. Yeah, they were mad. He got a copyright. Him. He got a copyright for Kid Rock because they were fucking jamming him. They were, yeah. they were mad at him because he was in their in their spot or something, right? Yeah, but that's the thing. Their tents were back in the woods. He was out by the water fishing, but the, the they were homeless, so I guess they thought they owned that shit. You know, they right. don't. They don't own shit, right? You're homeless, dude. That means you don't own shit, so you don't own this this public fucking waterway. But I, I have a license that says I can fish on. You know? Well, but they were drunk and they wasn't going. They wasn't going to listen to me. Yeah, there was one down there <coughs> um, at one of our landings, and Michael was trying to do a live down there. And sure as shit, you know, and there's not, there's just not enough places down here. But sure as shit, the guys in a mobile home right there, and I guess the guy's a real douchebag. He's like, get off my property. Well, it's not your property. It's a freaking boat landing. 
you know, but he's right. got the private, right on the edge of the thing, he's got, you know, private <coughs> property, and he thinks that the front yeah. of the frontage, water frontage is his, you know, so yeah. then he's out there and he was doing the same thing. As soon as Michael turned the camera on, the guy is blaring his music. So I think Michael said he got like three or four channel strikes for that. And they, I mean, he couldn't even view the video. They just took it down. That's serious. I don't know. What do the channel strikes do? Nothing to you, right? I mean, they're not. No, now, see, now, see, now, 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 those aren't strikes. Those aren't strikes. Those are copyright claims. A he strike a is strike. very bad. Yeah. Okay. Well, if he actually got a channel strike, those are bad. Yeah. Oh. I but and you know me, and everything I do and say on my live streams, especially my live streams, the one strike I've ever had was because I got a copyright claim on a video, which was uh, Yellow Wolf and Corn doing Devil Went Down to Georgia. They they gave me a copyright claim. And they blocked the video. Well, I appealed their decision to block the video, and they didn't like that. They don't like it when you do that. So because I did that, I got a strike. Okay, but so maybe you're you, right. Maybe you're right. He got yeah, maybe so it, because it, he appealed. It should have just been claimed. Because okay. if you get three strikes, you get three right. strikes, your channel no longer exists. Uh, right. I mean, it's gone. Yeah, right. the the videos that your name, your your face is gone off. The oh, page. so the copyright claim is, and then he did the same thing. He disputed. Yeah, but yeah. Now, now you can dispute the first time, and you can get away with that one. They'll deny it most of the time. Sometimes they don't, but they'll deny it most of the time. And if if they deny it, most of the time it will give you an option to trim the the copyrighted section. Because there, there might have only been a two-minute section or less that contained that song. Yeah, I mean, the and, boats go and by. You can a, boat hit, goes, a boat goes by, and they're blaring their music. And, I mean, yeah, they're, what are you, it's, yeah, they're not doing it. Yeah, and then once, once they're cleared, it's no longer a copyright on the video. And you usually have the option to trim that section out. And it's, it's just going to look like he edited a video. You know what I mean? It's, it's going to cut out. And, and, another, and another, which is even better for us fishermen, because you don't always have to hear what we're saying, especially, you know, we show with our actions or whatnot. He also has the option to mute that part of the video. Right. And he can just completely mute it when they're going by. And he also has a mute button on his phone that he can mute himself when they're going by so that the sound never hits YouTube. Yeah, and then in the case of the guy with the mobile which, home, there was no sucks. muting. It was just, yeah, it which would have that been better for him to not go live. However, yeah, it does suck to mute it. Yeah. But, you However, know, you could go live. I mean, it's better than, it's better I mean, than not can, having a video on YouTube. Ever. You just wouldn't have it, right. You could, you could still do the live. Everybody can still enjoy the live. You just don't have it saved. Right. So you don't, so, so you're, when you get those, it's not a big deal. They just take your video down, but you're not ruining the channel from Yeah, it. yeah. As long as it still claims, as long as they, they're still copyright claims, he's good. You can get all those you want. Yeah. But when you piss them off and get a strike, then, then they start paying attention to you. But my strike actually, my, my strike might have dropped off today or yesterday, actually, if I remember right. Because uh, when I got my strike, I had to go to copyright school before my strike could drop off. Copyright school contained of about four questions of if you put a song in your video, does that give you copyright rights to that song? No. Duh. <laughs> um, if you if you uh, use a song uh, or something, blah, 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 does that give you right to claim? No. Duh. You know, so I answer all these stupid ass questions, four questions. Congratulations, you passed copyright school. And then my your claim drops off in like half the time after you do that. So instead of my strike hanging on for like six months, I only had it for like three months. So now say like in my videos, I use I use music in the video that comes on whatever program I'm using. But it'll say to me, to avoid getting copyright, make sure that you copy and share this link or whatever. Copy the link and put it in your in the description. And then that's it, you're good. And you're clear. You're free to go. I use uh, I use a thing called uh, U Cut, 
and I have a big selection of music I can choose from, and that's the only stipulation. Copy the fucking link, put it in the description. Yeah, so it's and not a big deal to do that. Never, never have to worry about it. But, but when problem, I'm doing a reaction video, I know I'm getting hit with copyright anyway, so I just fucking let it go. But, yeah, and the problem, <laughs> with, the problem with that, when you're live, and that music goes by or whatever, uh, and like in this case, or the music played, and there was, th you know, three times, you don't even have the chance to view the video to put the link in there. You know, they're already marking it and blocking you from even accessing it. And see that, and that's why, and, and believe me, I know that you can't, it's, this ain't something you buy out of pocket chain. But if you can get a laptop, it is, it, dude, it, ch it changes your fucking life on YouTube, man. Yeah. It changes your life. You can yeah, do so I mean, much. I mean, I you can probably can do use so my mother's more. laptop, but it's old and slow. I have two laptops that are just junk. It's just not worth it when yeah. they, when it struggles to. And the mobile is nice, obviously, because I'm mobile. Yeah. You know, I, hello, I'm Laura the Explorer. <laughs> I'm not running around right. with a freaking laptop. You know. So. But yeah. But the reason I say this <laughs> is. Well, and even on my phone, though, man, I I can I do the description when I upload the video. Right. I, I hit upload the video. Know, if you already know you're going to well, use that music, yeah. but yeah, well, see, that's what I'm saying. I put I put the video together on on, on the U cut, right? And then I'll go over to YouTube and and go to upload a video. I'll pick the video. I'll put in the title. And then I'll have the, the link copied or I'll send it to myself on Facebook Messenger. Right. And then I can just open my messenger and copy the link, put it in the in the description along with my, my merch and all that other stuff. And yeah, then I mean, when it when it, by, by the time it hits YouTube, it's already on there. Yeah, I can do that with the iPhone and everything too, right from the phone, copy my link or whatever. But yeah. and what I'm yeah. saying is when you're live and you're not expecting this music to go floating by you. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. And you don't get a chance yeah. to figure out, okay, what are they playing right. and how do I get this link in here? You yeah. Know? Yeah, so all, but, but that's what I'm saying. His best bet when that when, when that happens, and, and you're not going to be able to put a link in there for mainstream music. They're going to hit you with the copyright regardless if it's something off the radio. If it's modern music on the radio, you're going to get hit with the copyright. So, it's, so it's, your best option there is just mute the, mute that section. Instead of losing your views, because he lost every view he had when wow. he deleted that video. That's true. Now, watch time's gone. The views are gone. It, it all drops off your off your shit as soon as you hit delete. And so now, you know, that's why I don't were, delete shit. When you're talking about like DMV and the guy that was singing, so so yeah. say, Well, no, here. they had they had they had the radio. They had the actual oh. radio going. So it like was actual like kid rock. Singing lullaby songs, they're not going to strike it because yeah. I'm singing. Yeah, no, no, no. Now <laughs> they might. The now they might. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. They have hit me with a copyright claim when I sang it myself with no fucking music in the background. But once you appeal it, once you appeal it, an actual person reviews it. And they're like, well, this shouldn't even have been picked up by the box. And yeah, you're good. And copyright's gone. You know what I mean? No, but everybody the problem knows is that. they've been so shorthanded with this COVID bullshit. They've got computers watching our live streams, and a computer might think it heard something when it didn't hear something. We got a copyright when we were sitting out in the middle of the woods fishing. There wasn't nothing but birds and fucking crickets, and we got a copyright. Right. You know? <laughs> and then well, I, I, I appealed you it, and they're like, oh, yeah, you're music. right. We know you did. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh. Everybody thinking. knows that Avid won't go out into a boat, right? So yeah. if anyone out there is willing to help and donate to a fund to help Avid with a boat that he can use, um, we're looking for like a marine radio so he can call for help, a fish locator that can be casted out, bank ride holders, uh, lights, and stuff like that. And then we want to build this so that at least Avid can get out there on the bank and fish from a boat. Those, um, no, I'm not those, going on no boat. Those cast <laughs> You see what uh, it actually is, Avid? It's a walker with the boat. Uh, I know. Right now, what, about a, what about a pontoon, Avid? Not even a pontoon boat? 
Maybe a pontoon. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go on a pontoon with you. I ain't getting on nothing else but a pontoon myself. No, well, I ain't getting on that, no John boat, no bass boat, no speed boat, no canoe, boat, no, no kayak, boat. none of that bullshit. You're all talking <laughs> at the same time. Can't hear a word any of you are saying. I was saying that getting on the bank with part of a boat. No. Oh, was that, those um, castable um, fish finder things or whatever, uh, Michael actually just recently got one. It. I haven't seen it yet. He used it the night that I had left him on the bank after fishing. Yeah. I actually have one ordered, Laura. It's called an eye bobber. I can't. Yeah. I don't know which one he got, but it's round and it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the eye bobber. Eye -bobber. Um, you know, but you got to try to make sure that you're for a hundred. I mean, it's not cheap. It's a hundred and something freaking dollars. <laughs> I, I found it as cheap as 50 bucks. Yeah, he got one. It was that much, I guess. But, you know, the, you, you definitely don't want to be losing it or getting it hung up in a tree. And, no. you know, and it comes off your line or something. Of that he, nature. No, I got well, mine I, off I, Amazon for 48 bucks. When I use an eye bobber or something like that, the only thing on that line is that bobber. Nothing else. Yeah, I've got heart and what is it, heart and twenty pound line on mine, tied to mine. For for an eye bobber like that, I'd be throwing sixty five pound braid. It's I got not even what you got on it, braid on it's mine. what you're hooking onto it. And the and where you hook onto the thing is such a small, small hole. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't get anything in there. And if you try to use like a clasp of some sort and the clasp, if it gets hung up and the clasp open, and then you're going to lose it. Right. Now my line's tied directly to it, so I toss it out there, and that's all it's there for is just cup and finding fish. No hook, no nothing on it. Because that thing, that thing goes right to your phone. Yeah. Yeah, that's and that's cool. So it, yeah, shows, so, you, it shows you everything on that thing. I might still be able to log in to see chat, but this is what happened. To, I don't know if you can see all the spider webbing on my iPad. I see it. It uh, it took a digger, and come to find it took out, a dive, huh? I paid outright for it, and yeah, it, so I didn't put insurance on it to get the screen fixed. Well, I'm going to be upgrading my phone and my iPad because my both of them are cracked. So yeah, I can. Oh well, so I can still log in. I can see chat. Hi, Tim Molina. Um, but yeah, if I scroll, I risk cutting my slice of my finger. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just be very I got a crack in mine, but it ain't that bad yet. Mine ain't cracked that bad, but it's, it has cracked. I got, I got a crack all the way across the top. but <laughs> Yeah, mine, it, well, now it just died the battery. Oh, yeah. I had one like that. Yeah, that's dangerous. You know, you can put clear packing, packaging tape over top of that and save your fingers. And it'll still yeah, but work. then you wouldn't be able to use your finger to slide or anything, right? Yeah, it still works. It still would mm -hmm. be a little ghetto, but it would probably be a good idea because I, yeah. I think to, to fix that, it was probably going to cost more than the freaking pat iPad. Yeah, well, I mean, if you put the screen in yourself, it might not be too bad, but I, I, I can't trust myself to do that with my phone. No, so you know. Yeah, I thought about I thought about just ordering a new screen for my phone, trying to do it myself. I was like, man, there ain't no way now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I really I didn't use this very often to me. I just don't know if it would be even worthy to replace it. But I mean, I guess I could go find out how much it would be. But yeah, you Red Word, uh, you can you can hit you can uh, report those comments. But what, whatever you do first, it, it deletes the comment. You, you can either report the comment. And, and I always report it and put it's a uh, sexual content because it's a link to a fucking porn site, basically, or live cam girls or whatever. Either way, it's, it's fucking porn. But um, you can either That's just uh, report the message, or I mute them. I mute them a lot too. You can, uh, <coughs> mute I'm that them, I block them, then I mute them. It, yeah. 
But, uh, yeah, they, I get those all the time, especially on this channel. Every time I post something, within the first five minutes, I've got this, this link, this, this comment, and it's just like zero, uh, high, or zero dot dot. I've been seeing three those. six or something. Like it's 36 seconds into the video, but what it is, it's a, it's a link to, uh, like somebody's fan page or some shit, porn site type. Yeah, I've been seeing the the thing with the numbers. My first live, I think I had some Asian Asian hottie in there in mine or something. <laughs> Asian lover. Yeah. <laughs> we love you long time. <laughs> yeah, five dollar. Five dollar. <laughs> two buku, two buku. Five dollar make you holler. <laughs> Anything you want. I love that movie. I've got yeah. a, I've got a lot of the, I got a lot of the sayings from that. There's ringtones on my phone. The ring these, rigs, these rigs I'm sending yeah. you, Laura. Huh? These rig, the rigs I'm sending you. Yeah. The leader line is lo, real long, so you just cut the leader down to the size you want on these rigs. All right. <laughs> Tim said you remember the link. You know, I, always, I always leave a long meter, so if you want them 24 inches, you can have them that way. You can cut them down to 12 inches or however long you want on the rigs. Huh. I, I always like to give people extra leader line in case they want it a little longer or a little shorter. How many are you sending me, Avid? Four to six. Are those the ones that were hanging in the truck window? Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Like, I I really wasn't <laughs> expecting all that from you. Uh, now, see, now I can see. Hi, Survival. Hey, those, hey, uh, those were also glow in the dark, too, the beads and the uh, rattles. Yeah. I just ordered uh, some of them. They glow in the dark. I just ordered some of them from Lee Alu. <laughs> from Lee Alu? Alu. Ali. Yeah, but now I, I have to do a name's Lee, but Lou's uh Uncle Lou. Yeah. I ordered the bobbers uh the rubber <laughs> bobber beads or the rubber beads and the, the uh, rubber beads rattle. and the rattles and the bobbers. I didn't get the bobbers, I just ordered the beads and the rattles. I got the beads, I got the rattles, and I got the bobbers. The only thing you didn't have was a rubber bobber stop, so I'm gonna have to go up to Alton to get them. I can't find them anywhere. I need them for a fifty pound uh, mine. You I'm debating on whether I want to try them rattles out first in the creek when the creek's moving, or if I want to use them in the pay lake with live bait. I tried, first. You want I tried to try Walmart? Them? I tried you Shields, can... and they're all sold out of them bobber stops. What'd you a say, Lord? Rattles, Lord. A creek. A creek. Creek, yeah. Yeah, creek, creek, yeah. Okay. C R E E K. Creek because of the creek. C R I C K. There you go. That's, that's why you got the chance to try the for mimicking the crickets in the creek. <laughs> I actually, honest to God, live in a creek. <laughs> this town is called Fall Creek. Hell yeah. Better than Crick Balls, I guess. Yeah, if you're up later, uh, Willie, I, when I get to work, I'll show you the uh, rod holders I got. I, I I won't use PVC and sand anymore because I've had to crack, crack a thick wall PVC uh, rod holder. Yeah. Crack it yeah. the bottom. Yeah, that's that's you can't even see it. It's that six pound test is like so, so thin. Oh yeah, yeah. that's good for bait fish. Yeah, he was asking me about putting four pound if I wanted the four pound or the six pound, but oh no, I'm back six pound, six pound small enough. The six you, is you, perfect. You know, pass into it, at least, at least you have a chance to uh, catch it. Yeah, I just thought four pound would be really too thin, but it's really yeah. I can't cool. get I like six. The yellow. The six pounds perfect for crappie and bluegill. Six pounds perfect. Because you always want to take that. You always want six pounds in case you hook into a big cat, a big bass, or a big cat. 
Yeah, I've been mm -hmm. hearing that you could potentially get a uh, a catfish on there, um, but right now it's it's getting discouraging because the tourist season is coming. The warm weather is here now, so now we've got. Um, when the day I went fishing to catch, you know, when I caught, I went to three landings before I finally freaking found a place to go fishing because the boaters, all the boaters are on the docks. There's no banks, you know, and it's just, it's very very frustrating. And now um, the bugs were out horrendous, you know. And then pretty soon it's just going to be all, from what Michael says, all garbites, which is cool when they hit, you know, they're just hard to hook. Yeah. I got tired of eating bugs all the time, Laura, so I went on Amazon and found these. They're like $3 with some odd cents a piece. What you got? What you got? What you got? It's a uh, net. Oh, yes. I have one of those in my hiking gear. Yep. It just pulls right down over. <laughs> Yeah, those buckers, they go right for the eyes, too. Yeah, and as mad they love the eyes. If it ain't the eyes, the they're up the nose. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so I don't know as far as, like, you know, um, Becca had made a comment to me about, oh, yeah, now you're going to be hooked and you're going to go for the big cats. And I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> but when there's no place, I mean, I'm not going to be able to go fishing, you know. Um, so it'll be I'm gonna have to drop down to the bass, crappie, small fish, I'm sure. Where did you catch that cat? Hmm? Where did you catch your first catfish? At, it's called Yohana Landing. We've, we've done that a lot. We've gone there a lot at Yohana. And it's a really nice landing, but it was recently so flooded out. Um, I mean, it was a flooded on the hill. These are all different sizes. Where did you catch it on? What bait? Shad. No, just because you cut that small one there, don't think you won't catch a big one there because they got big oh, ones. Oh no, there's, there's, big, there's there. big ones there. I caught three, and they were getting bigger in size. And I had a, I had a good size one hooked, but that was the second time now that the, the I must have been an older one because they're smart and they swim you right underneath the the logs and they get you all hung up. Right. And I couldn't recover. And then there was um, one fish after Michael got there that my knot let loose. Yes, that's what I have, Ace. So, yeah. Well, maybe not that brand, but I have that small package and everything like that in my backpacking gear. They work good. Keeps you from eating them. Yep. Um, but, yeah, my knot, I totally had one hooked on. It would have been my fourth or fifth fish. Or it would have been my fourth fish because... No, it would have been my fifth if I had gotten the fourth one. <laughs> right. But um, but my knot just it, the whole knot let, let loose and it was not broken or anything. You could tell it was all yeah, uh, not, not came untied. Yeah, it came untied. So Try, I uh, obviously was sitting there uh, tying uh, stuff, pre-tying stuff, and I just did a crappy knot. It's probably what happened. It's what happened. That definitely happened. But you know. We all have those mistakes, and we don't realize it until after we hook into a big fish. Well, that's twice it happened to me because when I first did it, I was like, okay, I'm not that good at it. And I lost. I went to go cast out my first time, and I had, I don't know, six ounces of weight or something. And yeah. it took my, in my entire gear, my everything that was on that line, gone. I cast oh. it out, my weight, my hook, everything. That's and I bad. Said, so at least this time I was hooked up to the fish, and then as I was pulling in, it, it just, there it went. He came undone. He came undone, all right. I'm wondering if, if he's floating around out there with the float, because I had the bobber float float thing on there. If you got him hooked good, that hook is still in his mouth along with that float. You're getting feedback, uh, Tim Molina? I see the... Yeah, he's getting feedback, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Well, I'm hearing some a lot of background noise on somebody there. It sounds like it stops inside, but I don't no. know. I think it, it might be conversations in the background. <coughs> yeah, reverb. Good... yeah, it kind of sounds like a reverb to me too.
Is my really? volume too? Is my volume too loud? Maybe am I too loud? I think I got my volume too loud. No, it sounds like somebody's got something playing in the background. Is what yeah, it's sounding I hear it like. Too. Yep, I hear it too. But I don't know if I if my if I'm too loud, I can turn my volume down because I'm loud when I speak anyway. I'm assuming the screws go through the top since the holes go all the way through on me. Oh, it sounds like a TV. Yeah, is that you dropped some of the TV in the background? No, we ain't got it. No, nothing on here. That's probably my sister in the background. Oh. As we all get quiet. I'm trying to see how I can uh, do that. <laughs> I'm going to be kicking out of here before long, and I've still got that challenge going. Anyone that wants to join it is more than welcome to join the challenge. What uh, challenge? All I, all I need to do is see a picture and stuff, and you'll end up getting a uh, free uh, ice rod for the giveaway part of the challenge. But it's an ice rod challenge. I want to see the biggest catfish caught on an ice rod. That's cool. Hmm. I mean, well, well, would my um, would my fish sticks rod count? Not really, because it's got that heavier rod. This no. has got that little bitty fin on a nice rod. You see, I got a nice rod that's made out of steel. <laughs> That's cheating. It's got to be the little fiberglass jobbers. No, this Listen, one. I, can, yeah, I can't afford any more gear. And I, I certainly am not going ice fishing down here in uh, Myrtle Beach. I'll let you pass with your Barbie rod. Hey, <laughs> this ice rod is made back in the 60s and 70s. Yeah, I've got one that's made out of a stainless steel one, too, back from, well, I want to say the 40s, 50s. It used to be my grandfather's, but. That damn right. make a few different ones. And, that ride right is strong. Yeah, they are. I was looking back there. Was was Here's saying. another ice rod. Little Abu Garcia ice rod. Yeah, or ugly, let me stick with my, uh, ugly stick ice rod, rather. Sorry. All right, Road Warrior. Later, Road Warrior. Thank you. What, what do you, you got there, Dobson? $20 tonight. What do you got there, Dobson? Yeah. Uh, this uh, fucking cat. Uh, play set. Cat play set. Oh. Uh, scratching the post and scratching thing and the shelter and shit to lay on and balls to play with. And, yep. I spent $72 on these little bashers today. Yeah, well, you know, if you have a Sands Club out there, you can buy the same thing for 30 bucks. Sorry, Tim. I, oh, yeah. I'm nowhere near That's the Sands Club. River. We got, well, we don't have one local. We got one down, uh, what was that, Chilcock? Sam's or even BJ's, because, yeah. I mean, I had a huge tower for my Wish we had before. BJ's right here. Huh? Yeah, this is the brand new one that I picked up that's going to be <laughs> on the giveaway. Yeah, that's nice. It's all camo. And... I mean, I'm not going to lie. I had We had ice down here in the bird bath. <laughs> I mean, if I put goldfish in there, that would, should count as ice fishing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, this is for the summertime. I want, I mean, well. anybody this summer yep. doesn't have to be goldfish on ice. Will eat corn, okay, it's so we don't have to go ice. Catfish. I get you. So we're not going ice fishing. We're just going We're just fishing using an ice, ice fishing rod. rod to catch them. You see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that uh, dock runner I have. The little pretty six inch one and put some uh braid on it and see how big a cat I can catch off of it. But can you imagine the fight that you're gonna get with the catfish on a nice rod? It's gonna be the same thing with a dock runner. I see catfish talking about the snakeheads. I don't know if I have those here. I got snakeheads here, but I'm not on the Potomac. Um, 
it's like an attachment. Yeah, uh, PBA was saying, oh, anytime I want to come down, he'll show me how to do, you know, he'll hook me up with that. And I'm like, yeah, the first time I see those suckers crawling away off the ground, I'd then be, I'm done. <laughs> that kid's here actually help eat the Asian carp. We to put it together from top to bottom. So that's why we start starting top pieces. Snakeheads, uh, bowpins, uh, the gar, the catfish. They all help eat the Asian carp. I'm going to kick out of here, guys. Everybody have a good evening. Well, nice Tim, talking to you all. all right. Tim, I can't take you off on it because I'm nowhere near the, uh, the Potomac River. River. Did one of these circle ones go in the bottom of that and connect to that? Well, uh, TBA catches them out. Uh, doesn't he catch? Oh, he doesn't count, catch them out of the Potomac, though, I don't think. I'm not right. sure. Tim, Tim says he has a running challenge for the uh, first person to catch a snakehead no, at the Potomac River on film in 2021. Yeah, but isn't the Baltimore Angler is catching snakeheads all the time? But uh, TBA, Baltimore Angler, DMV, the fishing magician has left, L10, all the people up there in the uh, Washington, D.C. area. I just don't know if he's catching the snakeheads out of that river or if he's doing it from some other location. Uh, it could be. Not because usually they're in the uh, lily pads or the grassy stuff, you know. Right. Well, I want to catch a snakehead. I just go out jigging for a crappie at Horseshoe Lake, and I'll catch him. But those things are vicious. Oh. <clears throat> Yeah, I learned um, somewhat quickly about the catfish when I was, I mean, I, I went to go try to take them off the hook and curse are so freaking slimy. And I'm like, I can't. And I felt so bad. Oh, my God, I felt so bad. And I'm just like, okay, just hang on. I got to go get a rag so I can hang on to try to get the hook out. And then, um, but one of them I went to go pick up and he turned just right and I could feel it didn't stick me, but I could feel it on the side fins. Um, but I thought it was just on the top fin, but no, they're on the side fins too. Mm -hmm. it, ugh. Yeah. The, pector, the, pector, the side fin gets worse most of the time. They have those barbs that will sting the you in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm I'm now. I mean, I'm aware of it. I wasn't afraid of it, but I got just enough where I was like, oh yeah, watch that, you know. That's <laughs> have an E on the bottom of it. Stick it on the bottom. I'm proud of you though. You caught your first three cats. You took them off the hook. You're holding them up in front of the camera. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, wow. That was amazing I, to see I you do that. I should be working. I should be. Yeah. I think the, um, I think my, my video is going to be really awesome too. I mean, and I should be working on it, but because I got a lot of different clips I'm putting in there and stuff. And uh, basically the journey from that. You know, way back up until this point. I'm I'm really proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. What, what size of hook were you using? A dot. I mean, and I did. I didn't use the scale that was sent to me in the box. I had one, um, and I went to go weigh the biggest one of the three, and I had them. I actually put the grippers in, and I was using the uh, lanyard to put on the hook of the of the scale okay, seven fish and what's up? right but it wouldn't but it i it would not register a weight it was like it i'm like i don't understand so um, another thing michael <laughs> right. was going to look at for me and but then we just we got into the fishing and everything else and we just didn't get a chance to look at it but uh try changing out the batteries it's brand new i just put them in oh oh and the fish scale i gave you no, no, I didn't use that one. I used one I had purchased before you sent me that one. And I was, it's a, a, a Rapula, Raptula, whatever. Oh, Rapala. Yes. yes. I don't like them. They have, uh, they have a mechanism inside. If you pull it down the wrong way, it'll catch it and won't read. Ah, well, maybe that's what happened. 
So, so that's why I sent you the digital one I have. Yeah. It won't do that. Because yeah, the I digital have one I have was in, uh, give me ounces, kilograms, and pounds. Yeah, because this thing, after, after everything was done, I was fiddling it with it and trying to weigh, and then finally I got it to read, and I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah, you, you broke it free. You broke you broke it free of whatever was caught up inside. Ah. Uh, Those Rapalas are cheaply made. It wasn't a cheap friggin' thing though. That was it was like a fifty dollar scale. So yeah. it's not really much of them still but this is a fifty dollar scale from Walmart. I don't trust them. No, I didn't get it from Walmart. Oh you did. I got it from I think Dick's. So I was trying to figure out where on the board. I know, to. I know there's a problem. They have that. Uh, they have that problem. If you pull on it too many times, there's something that can fall down in there to keep it from registering. Well, it's brand you new. Yeah, so yank on it to break it free. Uh, yeah, I mean it was brand new, so it shouldn't have been yanked on too many times. But whatever it was, it's when they when they do their tests at the uh, factory, they pull on them and yank on them to make sure they're working. But when they put the, uh, the casing together, they don't clean up the inside casing too well. And they leave a few loose debris in there and that can catch up on something in there to make it hang up. Well, no matter what, I mean, they were only two or three pounds, but I mean, I would have liked to have weighed one of them so that I had like, right. okay, this is, you know, even if it was two pounds, this is my two pound PB, you know. You but. see that uh, digital scale I sent you? Will weigh up to 110 pounds. Yeah, you were See, telling me. See, the way that looks is there's one on one side, one on the other side, and then one in the middle. So that's why I sent you that one because I know that one won't and break. That look on that? Well, I'm going to jump down. Side, I just wanted to pop up here and show point. off my reel and my line. And uh, I mean, it's. Oh, yeah, I like that line. Yeah. And that's definitely good awesome. reel. Yeah, the shake. Yeah, well, the like Shakespeare and too. Yeah. And just the fact Shakespeare that, the, I mean, good. again, I mean, Michael did such an amazing job cleaning it. I mean, it looks freaking phenomenal. Oh, and yeah. This thing reels really nice, too. It casts really oh, yeah. nice. But yeah, one thing most of, us are going to, most of us are always going to agree on, Shakespeare reels suck. But uh, yeah. ugly stick rods are awesome. Yeah, for my... <laughs> for my uh, for my ugly stick, yeah, absolutely. This, I mean, I love the look of, of it and everything, but it's crap. You know, and but it's also good to have as a backup. So if I need to, but I yeah. just I could not make this work for me for nothing. So whatever. Interest. It's interesting how you know I I'm definitely figuring this stuff out yeah, fairly nice. quickly as I go. You know, to know that oh, this is real stuff. survival. What's up? You see what Tim Tim wrote? Tim said, "Wait till you catch one so big it slap it bit slaps you right across the face, Lord." Yeah, I've heard that story. <laughs> I've heard that story, Tim. You, you get I, a, I was, uh, a fifty pound cat. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I was ten years old. I, I was ten years old, and I got slapped by a twenty one a twenty one pound flathead. Wow! So. It don't feel I, good. <laughs> I don't know who it was. I saw nope. on a video, but they were standing on a boat when it happened. I don't know if that's the one Tim's talking about. I don't know who it was. <coughs> um, but they were on the boat, and they had the fish, and I think they were trying to put it up on their shoulder or something, and it smacked them. Oh, that was... Uh, I think that was... Uh, who was it I seen do that on live? Yeah, that's what I can't remember either. I know who it is. I just can't think of them. I know I've seen uh, Epic do it, and it slapped him. I've seen Carl do it, and it slapped him twice. I wouldn't dare to fling the thing up on my shoulder with those freaking barbs. See, <laughs> when, <laughs> when they get over 50, 60 pounds, there's barbs. Well, uh, and, well another thing, uh, Laura, you got to remember, the bigger the fish, the less dangerous those spikes, <laughs> the less dangerous those spikes are. Oh, really? The smaller the catfish, the worse they are. Yeah, a little yeah, yellow belly, fish. little tannel cat, th those lay your hands open. You catch a 30, 40-pound blue cat or a flathead, 
they're wore off. He's been swimming in them rocks for 50 years. Oh, there ain't sense. no point left. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know that's what I mean? interesting. I didn't know that. You're just Bigger full of information catchy, tonight, Unless you have Johnson. to worry about that stuff. See that? But, I yeah, know. the little yellow bellies and the channel cats, man, those things will hurt you. <laughs> they will hurt you. What you have to worry about. Yeah. Yeah, the smaller, the worse, the worse they are. That's yeah, why I also sent you those gloves for. You'll know that I'm catching <laughs> yeah. all the little ones from all the pox I got in my face from, like, right. sticking in there. But uh-huh. see, yeah, but like I was saying, man, I'll, I'll take a 56-pound fish and grab him by the jaw, throw it up over my shoulder and carry it like that because he ain't got no spikes to hurt me no more. You know? No, but that tail going to knock you silly when you go to lift yeah. him up there. <laughs> I'm going to catch right. a gator. I'm going to take my gator and throw him up over my shoulder and see, you know. Like, <laughs> Screw you guys with your 60-pound catfish. I got me a gator. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully he's dead when you do that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pop off. I got to go work on some videos, but I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i pop into your uh, chat for a little bit. And... I might go live for a little while tonight at work to show... Uh, Really, the right holders I got compared to the ones he has. I'm not sure where I'll be at that time. I, I do get to work on these videos and editing, and oh my goodness. But I, if I check in and I see you, I'll definitely pop in. Or I might do it in the morning at the lake. That way he can see the differences of them. What was, what was uh, your PB catfish? No, uh, Catfish uh, Cameron was talking about the barbs. Who wants to know the PB Catfish? I want to know what Catfish Cameron's PB was. Oh. Yeah, Abbott's probably got most of those feet in here. I still have a broke 50 myself, but I have several 40s. Oh, that's cool. But see, a lot of people on YouTube don't think that don't think that counts. I got to look through all my spider webs here to see what he said, but a 12 and a half, 12 and a half. So even at 12 and a half pounds and they were all worn off. That's good to know. That's still a nice cat, uh, channel cat. Putting us in the right way because the fuzzy thing needs to what is it? go up. I could have people don't feel Well, the hell, hell yeah, that is. I've only beat that a couple times, dude, and and the only reason I beat it, and, and I was out of pay lake, you know, it was fish that was that was stocked in there at eight pounds 20 years ago, and the lake closed down for a while, and they just got blew up. I, I, I But I got I got a 15-pound channel, but that was, I feel like that was a fluke. But uh, if you caught that out of wild water, that's that's a big channel. Yeah, that's cool. So, um, what is a pay lake, by the way? Uh, we 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 roll up to the bait house. We give them twenty dollars. They give us a ticket, and we go fishing for twelve hours. But it is it's You're stocked. To fish on it, it's 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 private property lake, but it's stocked regularly with channel cat and big big blues and shell. I got a phone call, so I'm going to bounce out. I'll be back. All right. Yeah, a lot of people, especially down south, have no idea what pay like. What? We have them here, but they've been been getting boycotted. Right. And Mm. most of them, I I agree 100% with that. Uh, But the the one I do fish at, I, I do give them credit that he doesn't do anything to harm his fish so when he puts a big fish in there it's going to live you know what i mean it's going to be there for a long time but then I, i've talked about this place many times it's called catfish paradise too they got five lakes and what he'll do every weekend he'll he'll hit one of those he'll juice what they call juice one or two of those lakes with yeah. um copper sulfate frenzy. yeah he, he shocks them with copper sulfate, which makes the fish feel like they're starving. All the fish right. in the lake bite, but they're all dead in about a week, too. Right. So, so then the, he, so he just killed 10,000 
So he just killed 10,000 pounds of fish for the hell of it. Uh -huh. And then he goes down and buys another or nets another 10,000 pounds of fish out of the river. Right. You know, at, on a weekly basis. And, and I do not, I do not uh, promote those guys whatsoever. You know, Illinois, a lot of the lake, lake fish out, they don't do that. A lot of the feed lakes in Illinois huh? have been shut down. Yeah. And, and any of them that was doing that, they should have been shut down. We got too many uh, people that catfish it, that catfishing and our, our biologists are not allowing them to catch catfish to uh, put in pay lakes. Right. Out of Rio Grande, yeah, that's that's a nice ass fish out of Rio Grande. Dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, out of wild wild water, twelve and a half pound channel. That's a nice fish. Mine was a nice fight, even though you know it was it was out of pay leg. I still caught it off the bottom in thirty five foot of water, so it was, it was still fun. No, those rattles, those catfish rattles I sent you. Yeah, it would lift the bait up off the bottom from the bottom up. They do float up. Yes. Okay. So however well, that'd long be good for that leader, leader, too, man. Hey, so however, like I said one more, however long you leave the leader, that's how high it'll come up off the bottom. Okay. Right. Okay. So you the bottom without without a bobber on top, but this rattle, the catfish rattle with fence float would bring your bait up off the bottom. So it all depends on how long you leave that leader from your swivel to the hook. The longer you have it, the higher it's going to come up. That's why I make them long leaders. You can make cut them to the size, the length you want, and everything on them. I just want to let you yeah. know before you cut them too short. And you're saying it didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, I always make mine different lengths. Like a, if I'm using a bobber and live bait, I'll use a six inch to, to, a, to a 10 inch leader. But if I'm fishing dead bait or if I'm fishing on the bottom, uh, I'll, I'll make two, three, four foot leaders sometimes. You know, just I think some of those uh, line leaders on there are close to 18 to 20 inches. Maybe right. forty four inches. I'm not sure. Yeah, but yeah that's plenty. That's plenty four. enough. Because uh, yeah, I usually go at least a foot, a, a foot to a foot and a half. Because uh, out there at the lake, I fish. When you throw away out there in the middle, the, the leaves accumulate in that lake every year, surrounded by trees. So if you just throw out there with a six inch leader and a, and a big four or five ounce or bigger egg sinker. You just buried your bait. You know, fish can't even get to it without rooting in, in leaves. Yeah, it. that's why I but like you. Yeah, but if you use about an 18, 18 inch leader, your bait's up above that, that them leaves yeah, on the bottom. If you need a 24 inch leader, you'd be perfectly above it. Exactly. Because when, uh, when the lakes and rivers uh, do flip in the spring, you're going to have that barrier there. So that's where the catfish bobbers are coming handy to keep you above the barrier. Right. Until the uh, leaves and everything settle down in the bottom of the lake. That's why I sent you guys a, uh, those catfish rattles and the uh, catfish bobbers to where you can keep them above when you got that leaf barrier down there on the bottom. You put the catfish bobbers, just set them to where they go above the leaf barrier to where the fish can find it. Yeah, exactly. So I got you yeah. covered from both angles. Yep. That's why well, I really had. I, I just haven't decided whether I wanted to uh, throw the rattles out if I'm not using live bait when I'm fishing in the lake. Well, I, it's not really going to rattle in still water, is it? Mm, with them being glow in the dark, the beads will also help. But if you need live bait for them to rattle, yes. Yeah, because I definitely want to. I definitely want to use them with live bait because I know the live bait's going to make it rattle. Yeah, Constantly. live bait will make yeah, it rattle. Yeah, I definitely want to do that. That's going to be one of the first things I do this year, especially bluegill. Yeah, bluegills. Are oh yeah, bluegill. Man, I you well, you, and see, you got to remember this about the pay lake, man. 
this is why I, ta- I tell you all to use bait that you're not allowed to use all the time. Not you specifically, but a lot of the guys on YouTube in different states. I'll talk about, I'll tell them use bass, use crappie. We can't use bass, we can't use crappie. At the Pay Lake, dude, we can literally use anything yeah, for bait. Pay Lake. Anything. You know, you yeah. The river, I'm, I'm, going, I'm getting fined. I don't do pay lakes, but I've seen a lot of people that go to pay lakes, and I know what that bring out. Yeah. And I, I tell a, I tell a guy, if you catch a big cat, I'll pay you 150 bucks to take it to the river and let it go out of a pay lake. Right. And I've had four people. Dude, I do that in a heartbeat. I would, I would take that deal in a heartbeat, dude. <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah, I go straight back out there and catch another one. Do it again. <laughs> hey, the guy that owns the Pay Lake heard me tell these guys that, and he's like, "No, don't. Do not lose businesses." I don't care. Right? I don't fish your Pay Lakes. I'm putting these right. fish back where they belong. Yep. Do my me my methods anyway. In one weekend, I spent 150 bucks five times. Hooks and hammocks, what's up? I've Tim, had see you later, buddy. Catch, miss you already, brother. Big cats and take them back to the river, and they stop by yep. and shoot them to and, me. And see, I'm, and, and I can't lie, man. If if I if I was ever an owner of my own property, which is never fucking going to happen, but if I ever owned my own property and I had a lake on that property, I'm going I'm, I'm going to stock it up like that, but prefer for personal use, and they're not going to be. There's not going to be 50, 60 to 100 people every weekend fishing those fish. You know what I mean? Right. It's going to be me and, and a few people out there from time to time or whatnot. But uh, but when a lake does like Catfish Paradise does, and he knows he's killing those damn fish when he shocks that lake with that with that uh, copper sulfate, he knows what he's doing. He knows they're going to die, you know. But it, it, it's going to bring him in a few thousand dollars that weekend, a few <laughs> extra thousand, maybe 20,000. He just made them fish unedible. Yeah, that too. Well, well, that's the thing. They don't even stock. But most of these pay lakes don't even stock uh, channel cats eating fish. Most of them just stock uh, big ones, anyhow. Yeah, but see, and, that, and that's the worst. Lake. That's that. But that. But to me, that's worse, man. I would rather him be killing off a bunch of two or three pound channel cats than 40, 50, 60 pound blues and flatheads. You don't need to be killing you know trophy saying? fish. Yeah, he's killing trophy fish on a weekly basis. Yeah, he's not killing just channel cat. He ain't stocking no channel cat down at We need to get him shut down. He's killing, he's killing the big dogs. We need to get yeah, him killing the big fish. Who's on your a, on a constant basis. Area. And that's, that's part of the reason the Ohio River sucks as bad as it does, man. Because the guys like him have just drained it, dude. There ain't so nothing left. What fishing biologist is over that area? Do what? What's a who's a fishing biologist that's over that area? I do not know. Look in your regulations; that will tell you. And report it. Reporting. I know he has been, but I'll definitely do it again. Yeah, I have no problem with that. Yeah, but I know. I know he's been biologist that's over that area because. He has a say over these pay lakes. Yeah. And, yeah and, and, and I mean, and I know a lot of people are completely against them altogether, but that's the reason I praise this one we fish at, dude, is because I know how he does it. There ain't never been no copper sulfate seen that lake. He ain't never even had to put it in there for weeds. You know what I mean? It's never been in that water. You see, copper and, sulfate you know, is made for weeds, but you have to use yeah. it in... The right quantity. Yeah, you have to use small amounts of it. Yeah, you put too much in there, and it has a, a, a ridiculous effect on the fish. Yeah, it, it makes them hungrier. It's like dumping uh, seven kilos of crack in a lake. What are you going to do to a fish? Right. He's going. I'd have beat his ass. I'd be like, man, I'm going to smoke that shit. Damn. Well, when you I'd rather give it to me than fucking dump in the fucking lake. He's like dumping drugs in the lake. He just has the same effect as that copper sulfate. 
right? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Well, no, crack don't make you eat, but I know what you're saying. Yeah. It, it's like a speed pill. It's going to make you run, yeah. run crazy until it wears out. Yeah, when they put the copper sulfate in the water, it, it's like it's like a bunch of teenagers just smoked a bunch of weed, and now they're in, mm-hmm. they were in Taco Bell with like 30 bucks in their pocket and realized they could order everything on the menu. <laughs> that's what it's like. <laughs> Getting stuck on stupid. Yeah. Once you see, yeah, I mean, if the fish didn't die, I guess it wouldn't be as bad. But I still, I would still be against it, even if it didn't kill the fish. No, but the fact that you know the fish are going to die after that, and and you just do it on purpose, I don't get it. I can send you some of those heavy gauge rod holders like I use. Yeah. And trust me, a big K. Binge one of them things when they're set all the way down on the ground. They're not going anywhere. Right. Yeah, they do, Cameron. Cameron you know said catfish lives matter too. Or channel when, catfish when lives matter those, too. Yeah. When you see how those uh, big rod holders work with mine. Yeah. I've had an 83-pound uh, blue in that spring rod holder lay it flat on the ground trying to pull it out in the way we <laughs> Damn. I've seen them do that with DMVs before. Yeah. All, all Probably the same style rod holder, I think. All they did was pull drag. Yep. And it took me hey, it took me a lot of force to pull it back up to let it get back lifted up enough in that spring yeah. to where it let go of the rod to where I could pull the rod out of it. <laughs> that was a big cat and current. Right. So you know he he had that thing pinned to the ground. Yeah. And people wonder why I use heavy action rods in uh, rivers with big current. A lot of medium heavy right. action rods do, do not. If you're in a boat, a medium yeah. I mean, I, I like my I like my light action, the medium action, whatever it is. When I'm out there at, at this, at this, especially at this particular pay like we fish main, mainly. Because it's a, uh, it's like two hundred yards across that thing, so you got to cast the football field to hit the middle. Well, I can get more distance with them rods with the whip and two or three ounces of weight. But see, yeah, if I'm fishing out heavy current, I want, I want my old power stick. Only two hundred yards. I'd be scared huh? to hit that. I, I, if I was on that area where you fish, my eleven and fifteen foot rods, I'd be scared to hit the guy in the other bank. Right, casting out because <laughs> hey, I'm throwing anywhere from four to eight ounce to uh, one pound weights. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to step up probably six, and that's about all I'm going to need. Just to toss it out there. What uh, what pound chest are you running? Uh, twenty twenty five usually twenty five mainly. If you're going to go up to uh, five pound five ounces of weight. No, you're mono, right? Yeah. Uh, What's the thin, uh, strongest, thinnest mono, mono you got? Do what? What's the strongest but thinnest mono you got? Uh, Probably a 25 big game. I have some 30 big game. Yeah, but that 30 is too thick. Yeah. So load up one rod with 25 pound big game. Do your Carolina rig or Texas rig or however you want. And start getting used to throwing a five ounce weight. Okay. Yeah. You're going to have to take about four or five casts before you can get used to it to where you can uh, get the rod to load up right. To cast it out. Is, am I making any sense on that? Did you use it? Yeah, if I got you're you. Using a uh, smaller weight, it's going to act differently when you put a bigger weight yeah, on. Yeah, it went because yeah, you ought to see me trying to throw two ounces out there. Looks like I'm about to pull my nut sack. I'm throwing it so hard. What what kind of rod are you using for that lake? Uh. Most of our rods are the the packhawk, 
Hey, Plant meet spirit heavy talk heavy. Heavy. Or are they yeah. medium heavy or heavy? Uh, I think they're all medium, medium heavy. Eric Burnside. Eric what Burnside, up, Eric? what's up? Now, I use an 11 foot. I got two new rods that I find at work. Both are mediums. One is a rod that I have never seen before, not even in a store. It's a Shakespeare rod. It says catch more fish. But when you take it apart, yeah, you know how you take a rod apart in two pieces and you let go of the top, it'll fall? It yeah. don't. It hangs. <laughs> like a, <laughs> so got an what elastic it, band inside of it. has elastic paracord sticking inside it. Yep. Then I, I see that. Then I found a. I watched a guy over in England using one like that. Then I found a 808 catfish reel on a seven foot six medium heavy catfish rod that acts like it's a heavy action rod. Huh. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Right. I know if I put a four ounce weight on that damn thing and launch it, because the line that's in it looks like it's 12 pound test. Yeah. Now see my 12 foot, uh, my 12 foot, um, pack off. It's, I'm, I think it's heavy action. I think it's rated for like 12 ounces of weight or some shit. If it's a 12, 12 foot pack off heavy action. Uh, I believe that one's rated for five ounces of weight. Five that could be it. Because I know my 15 foot, the longer it is, the more weight it can handle for heavy action. Yeah, yeah that's because it's it's, distrib it's distributed over a larger area. Right. Because my 15 foot, I can throw eight, eight ounces of weight and launch that damn thing a mile. But see, I'm using braid. Yeah. I'm using anywhere from 30 to 60 pounds. Do you, you fish heavy, rocky areas or anything like that, though? Yeah, but when I do I that. I've seen DMV I, break a lot of, I, I seen, I seen DMV break a lot of braid on them rocks. That's, that's, because I, I, I never liked that, braid before. Go when ahead. I do that, I use a Texas rig, or the Kentucky rig. Yeah. I'll put the, the sinker on the bottom <clears> and the hooks up here by the foot up off the bottom. Where I can still catch the cats, but I may lose a sinker. I won't lose a lot of rigging. Right. You see, I use a three-way swivel from the bottom bottom one down, and I use yeah. a wider uh, leader to where that leader's going to break by the uh, sinker. Yeah. Yeah, and see, part of uh, I was just uh, going, getting ready to say that as you it was making me think about the rock piles where she caught that thirty-four shovel head last year. We're fishing over top of rock piles, and if you go one down a little ways, you're throwing over top of a rock ledge. And ninety percent of the time, when you're fishing bottom out there over that ledge, and you go to bring it back in, our sinker gets hung up in the rocks, not the hook, but the sinker does. Because you, when it does come loose, you'll have those them them marks down the sides of the lead. You know where it scraped that right. lead and looks brand new, uh -huh. where the, where the uh, sinker was wedging the rocks out there. Hey, JV outdoors. There's two faces only a mother could love. <laughs> I'm not sure whose mother, but someone's mother. <laughs> well, that that remains to be seen, JV. <laughs> Yeah, I I love using those three way swivels for uh Kentucky rigs. Just where the simple fact is the catfish like to roll and spin. And that right. those three way swivels save your line. Yeah, especially blues. Blues roll and roll and roll. Blues, blues. channels. Yep. I, I blues brought a blue cat in by his tail once. It was a uh, it was thirty two pounds, thirty two pound blue, but when as he was running, he was rolling. And when I jerked it, all it did was tighten up. He had it wrapped around his tail, the small of his tail. It was wrapped around him 15 times. The hook was in his mouth. 
then the line went around his body, and then it was wrapped around the small of his tail 15 times. Yep. I pulled that fish in like it wasn't nothing, man. <laughs> I just can't wait to see you hook into an 83. Right. That boy is going to put your right – Put a medium heavy reaction rod you have to the test. Right. I caught him on 20 pound braid, though. Damn. There's a guy, a buddy of mine out here, fishes this lake. He caught 100. It was 100 plus. Uh, the scale the scale was 100, and the, the fish still laying on the table. But uh, it maxed out the 100 pound scale, and he caught it on 25 pound. Uh, monofilament. Damn. You're doing good then. Right. Man, you should, he said you should have heard it. That, that, you know how when you stretch mono out, you hear that, that, that yeah, it's high like, pitch. Yeah, it's like a that, piano. Yeah, that high pitch weird noise. Yeah. He said that, he said that sucker was singing, man. He said you could see my line for a hundred yards across that lake just, just glistening and just hear that. Yeah, it's like a piano, it's like a piano tunes. Yeah. More it stretches, it changes its tune. <clears throat> yeah. The more it stretches and the wind hits it, it sounds like another neck. And it's, it's letting you know it's getting close to breaking point. Yeah. When you start hearing your model do that, you know it's getting close to breaking point. <laughs> yeah. And he knew it, too. He knew it. He, he had to call his dad and wake him up, get him out of bed here in town. He had to come out and help him get it in. And he said after he got it in, they weighed it, took pictures, put it back in the lake. He said, I threw that pole back out there. And he said, as soon as I did, I looked around. And I said, what the hell am I doing? If I did hook something else, I wouldn't be able to pull it in. <laughs> he really <laughs> pulls it in and went on. He, he overmaxed the stretch limit on that line. That too. But he was he was so tired, he wouldn't have been able to fight a fish either way. But but yeah, that, if he hooked another, another, another one on that pole, it never would have came in. The day I caught that 83, in four hours, I had over 350 pounds of cats. Cost. Right. In four hours. And, 80, and that 83 was the first one. That 83 pound blue was the first one I caught. Yeah. And as soon as I caught him, got started fighting him. My second ride bent over while I was trying to fight him and get him in the bank. Hell yeah. It was like that. For four hours, I could not keep a rod in the water. And, and I was fishing by myself that day. <laughs> I have my feet wrapped around. I'm standing on top of the rod that's in the rod holder that's bent around with my legs wrapped around it, fighting another fish. <laughs> I let go of that rod long enough to put the landing net underneath that 83 to get him in. Got him up on the bank and started bringing in the other one. A 35-pound uh, flathead. Right. Get them in. Get them both unhooked. Get them back out there again. It all, depend, uh, Eric, it, it all depends on what you're fishing for, man. I mean, you know, if you're fishing for, for channel cat, for eaters... You're not you're not gonna need the same thing as the guys fishing for trophies, you know what I mean? But yeah, if you want the big dogs, you don't want you don't want to go out with I don't recommend anything under twenty and and the reason I like twenty is because you get better cast, but I really don't like using smaller than twenty five. I do twenty pound braid, eight strand, because it's stronger. And yeah. I throw anywhere from a four to five ounce uh, pyramid weight. But if I'm going to go for something bigger, I go up to 30 to 50 pound braid, eight strand with a five to eight ounce weight and cast it out. Yeah. Because I know that way I ain't going to lose that rig. Right. Hey, Matt Catter. Matt Catter, what's up? That's Richard Ward. But I tell you what, it depends on what you're going. Yeah, like Willie says, it depends on what you're going for. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it just depends on what you fish for. 
I have uh, and where are you fishing? Your HES low profile bait casting uh, reel on the chunky rod that I'm turned the chunky rod into just a flathead rod and reel. Right. And yes, hey, I somebody can catch a flathead on a spinning reel, Cameron. Yeah. You hear me? What? At least, at least somebody can catch a flathead on it. Oh, no, that's where I'm making that one because that's uh, the chunky rod. It says it's a medium yeah. head, but the backbone <laughs> says it's a heavy action rod. Right. And that thing is a beast when it casts. <laughs> I'm still I'm still not used to it uh, fully casting, but <laughs> it, it it I got it to where it ain't backlashing. And I can get it out there maybe 40, 50 yards from shore. Nice. Mad Catters, I know how you feel. That <laughs> Be safe out there, Mad. I'll be going oh, to work man, here. Sucks. I have to be I at work at 10 o'clock anyway. So. I'm going to be getting off here in a minute anyway so I can get ready to go to work. Oh, yeah, you got to work? Yeah, I got to be at work by 10. I still have to pack my lunch and put my shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like wearing <laughs> shoes. Yeah, that guy this morning... He seen me going. He seen me recording when he pulled up. <coughs> yeah, but he just didn't give a damn. I gave him. So was it? Was he just talking too much, or was he cussing and stuff? He was cussing. He was talking political. He was talking guns. He's talking all kinds of shit. He don't oh, know. Oh shit! No. About. Yeah. Oh fuck, man. He he, had, he stuck on stupid. Yeah. And the worst part about it, he has concealed carry. He has a gun on him. And he already broke the concealed carry license rules when he popped open that beer. Right. Let alone being, being, being that stupid drunk. And Fishing Game came up to me and says, he's bothering you again? I said, yeah, be careful because he's concealed carry and he has a beer in his hand. He goes, really? He just lost his concealed carry license. Wow. I got the chunk. That's, yeah. like that's like that guy that uh, the, the F bomber there's talking, y'all was talking about earlier on DMVs. Man, I wouldn't even disrespect DMV like that. You know, if, if we ever got to collab, I'm not going to cuss like I do on my channel no. if I'm on his channel. Just out of respect, you don't you don't just walk up to somebody on the river and he says, "Hey man, I'm live on YouTube." Well, cool. Fuck this. Fuck that. I'm like, you know, on my channel, that's one thing, but that's just disrespectful to do to anybody else. And I just don't, I just don't get people like that. I told him that four times. Yeah, I don't get it. I just been. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I talk the way I talk on here, and I don't talk the way I talk on, on other people. You know. started throwing politics in here, and I don't do politics. I don't do yeah. guns on the yep. chat. <laughs> <laughs> all my videos, not one of them mentioned guns, ammos, or anything. And yes, I do love my right. gun. Yeah, there's no reason. I mean, me and Jeffrey's talked about guns on here before, but there's no reason for me to talk about guns. I don't even own one. You know, I don't, I don't even own a pellet gun right now. I do, so, but <laughs> I got the right, problem. But, you have, to have a COVID, uh, I mean, a point card to own. Yeah. But, but yeah, but yeah, you don't just come on at somebody else's thing and, and you told him he was live. You told him, you know, it's a clean channel. There, there's no was, reason for that. He didn't show no freaking ounce of respect or anything. He just sat, stood there. It kept getting worse and worse. Yep. 
And see, and, and even me, man, and even me, you all know me. And I done, and I done, uh, I told him earlier, I'm going to clean this channel up a little bit, especially on my videos and when I'm out fishing. I'm going to do my best to work on my language and, and smoking on, on camera and everything like that. Because, and, and that's because I want kids to be able to watch these videos and be able to watch my lives when I'm fishing. And, and, and you know, so because I'm doing that, if somebody comes up on me and starts doing that, you can bet I'm going to mute it and I'm going to knock them out. You know, I mean, that's, that's where it closes. That's where it closes the stream because that speaks in the uh, pounding. Mm -hmm. That's to put his head in his grill of his car. Yep. Until uh, and, and, I, and I already feel threatened if they come up on me with a gun like that and they're already drunk. I already feel threatened automatically. I know how to disarm the guns. I can disarm. Yeah. The guns. <clears throat> yeah, it's just it's just me and guns. I just feel threatened in that situation. If the guy's sober and he's out there, it's just you know he's just got a conceal and, conceal and carry, and he's just talking about fishing. That's one thing. But when he's out there and he's drunk and he's and he's packing a loaded gun, then I'm not comfortable with that. This guy does not know a damn thing about fishing, right? Sasha, what's up? The only thing he knows about guns is what he gets. The information he gets from his uh. Blacksmith. <laughs> Smith. Facts, Eric. That's me right there, dude. I am not Christian. I, I do not I do not uh follow any religion. I have no secret. I've never kept out a secret to anybody. I have no religion. I, I don't believe in God. You know. But I do believe you treat others the way you want to be treated. Right. You and know? this guy don't give a damn about it. I'm always gonna live by that. Yeah. Well, if he's out of the jail but, by morning, but I also live by once once you've been disrespected, you know, shit happens. <laughs> that gets you know. for me if he shows up tomorrow morning. <coughs> I'm gonna have some friends out there with me in the morning. Hell yeah, the four legged friends. But Think I'll get me a slingshot. I got one. <laughs> we could have used a slingshot there a couple years ago. Man, her made a yellow belly video. Man, there was guys throwing shit in the creek and shit, and uh, ran us off, scared us off. Hell, I didn't know how many people were there. We didn't have lighting for shit. But uh, I got it's probably a, a good uh, thing I didn't have a gun that night. I probably would have fired. I got a slingshot, slingshot with uh. Three eighths, quarter ounce, and half ounce uh, steel be uh, bearings. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have I'll have to use steel bearings because if I use lead, I'm going to be too tempted to turn them in the circle. Yeah, I even have three quarter ounce steel bearings that shoot out of that thing. And nice. They, they go a good distance. Religion is just what we believe in, and we all have our own beliefs. And I, I believe right, exactly, Sasha. All right, <coughs> and, and that's why it pisses me off so bad when I get judged by a religion that I was raised. I was raised in, in as a Christian, and I was taught not to judge people. But yet, you know, I know a lot of Christians judge the shit out of me, man. Yeah, <laughs> I'm listening to you, but I'm gonna have to get uh get up and get ready for work. All right, man. Yeah, we don't want you get be late for work. Get fired or something shit. Off that somewhere, either had it laying on top of the thing you just picked up, or it was on the bottom of the thing you just picked up. All your hacking dogs makes me want to smoke. I'll be right back. I'll leave you running. I'll pop back up on the panel with you. <coughs> You're still here. I'll be here. <coughs> Even if we go for four hours, that's still a short one on this channel. 
I said it was going to be a quick one showing off my new stuff. Hey, anybody want to see my poles I got? There's a couple people who wasn't here early. <coughs> Did you everybody see my new my new bass rod and my new uh, walleye rod and real combos? Try it in that first. Is it a screw through that? If there's if there's a screw on both, then it's one of the it's one of these double threaded dudes. It's not one of these. The same what's on the blueprint. No. It's the flat one that holds this piece sturdy to this piece. It's this one. Okay. I'll just ask you if there was threads in this part and you didn't ask me, so I didn't know. You want to see? Mike Kager said, all right, I'm going to put this up. My dad was extremely anti-Christianity. So basically, I was just assumed that I am too. I'm more open than he was. Exactly. I try to be as open. I try to be wide open. But it actually was something that we never discussed, just assumed. I got you. Now, see, I was raised Christian, and, and I I felt like I seen enough one day that um, I, I, I couldn't believe no more. All right. <clears throat> um, I don't know if y'all seen, but the uh, uh, video is probably on Dobson channel. But uh, I want a, uh, I want a uh, Cast King. I want a Cast King. Um, damn, what's this called again? Royal Legend from uh uh brand new still in the box. One this from JV JV Outdoors. Well, I ordered a uh, a seven foot Avenger. No, not Avenger. Is it Avenger? No. Uh. No. I ain't got new bloodline. Talk about talk about trimmers now. Um, damn it, Abu Garcia, seven foot Vendetta, Vendetta, seven foot Vendetta. Uh, heavy, uh, heavy power, fast action to put that on. Well, I wanted to go ahead and get another another uh, bass reel to go with. Me. So it have I'd have a pair of bass rods because that's the first bait caster right I'm, I'm ever going to use for bass. So I wanted to go to Walmart and I wanted to lose. I've been looking at lose bait casters for a while. So uh, I get to Walmart, all the lose gone off the shelf. Every one of them gone. So I'm looking at a, at a, a, a fuck a Daiwa. I'm looking at Abu Garcia. I'm looking at a Shimano maybe something like that, which I like all those. Nothing against them, nothing against. Them. But we will go ahead and look at the combos and then come across this second. See that? I come across this combo right here. This pretty bright orange and white sucker. Look at these grips. These grips are badass. I love these grips. It's like foam. This is seven, uh, see, six foot, ten inch, uh, medium heavy power, fast action. I got me a, I got me a set of bass rods now. It's on. And while I was there, while we were still looking for that, uh, came across uh, this ugly stick Shakespeare combo. Uh, I'm not, I, you know, the reel's going to do what it does. It's a Shakespeare reel. Got a line counter and everything on it. It says walleye rod. It says ugly stick walleye right on it. Uh, ugly stick walleye. But this was only 65 bucks. And uh, I, I I went ahead and took it for that. I'm going to use it for catfish. I might throw it out for walleye. You know, a little live bluegill and stuff back at the reservoir. But, 
But yeah, that's what I got right now. And then I got two more rods that should be here by Friday. Come. Our YouTube removing people's wrenches now. I see I don't have one anymore. Really? Sasha said, oh, I've never been live on this channel, Sasha. I'm on a, I'm on Hillbilly Psycho. Yeah. Uh, that's why. As soon as Maria uh, gets a minute, we'll fix that. I can't do it on my phone while I'm on it. But yeah, it's because I'm on Hillbilly Psycho, not Dobson. I've never, I've never been live and made mods on this channel. Yeah, uh, she just, she just, made, uh, she just made a, she just made Lori the mod earlier. Huh? A fucking old supposed to be over here. We'll get it. We'll just loosen it and turn. That didn't work with. Yeah, no, no, nobody took it, man. Nobody took the wrench. I didn't take nobody's wrench. Nobody had one. <laughs> Yep. Yep. I'm on Hillbilly Psycho. That's why nobody had a wrench. Lori just got hers a little bit ago. <laughs> yeah, he said I'm not blue either. Yeah. Yeah, it's because we're on we're on Hillbilly Psycho, which is having made mods. No need for a wrench though. Like I said, everyone doesn't need to be a mod. Yeah, but it never hurts either. But I, I do think it makes some people feel uncomfortable when they come in, I guess. But I don't I don't think it should because, you know, if they keep coming in, they're going to be blue anyway. Um, and uh, that's that, you know, that you watch everybody that's new. And, you know, if everybody's a mod, then they're, you know, that, you know, somebody's watching you. Don't say something stupid. You know what I mean? Um, but sometimes, you know, and then there is times when I'm on other other people's channels. And we get messages that that are held for review. They have to be approved or or uh, held by by a moderator. And a lot of those, there, there's nothing. There's nothing bad. There, there's no foul language. There's, you know, there's there's nothing wrong with it. They don't say sub, which the, the person channel. Most people don't like to see sub in their chat. But it don't say none of that. It don't say anything bad. And I approve it. And then somebody else blocks it, or they block it before I can approve it. And it's just, and then they'll time people out. And then when that, when that starts happening, you know, that's when you just tell them, man, you can't be doing that. You know, they didn't do anything wrong. They didn't say anything wrong. But, you know, that's, that's all depending on the channel you're on. You know, everybody, everybody runs their own channel their way. And, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm completely for that too. You know, it's your channel. You know, it should be a few of you should have just got smirked. Um, but yeah, if it's your channel, you know it's your preference, and I, I'm fully, fully behind that. So when I'm modding on somebody's channel, they don't want sub in the chat. I don't, I don't do it. They don't want numbers in the chat. I don't, I don't allow. Them. They don't want uh, people to drop links. You know, well, you can't drop a link unless you're a mod. But um, you know what I'm saying. Rather be Lord green than blue. <laughs> huh? Oh, Linky Link. Linky Link. Yeah, when you're doing stream yards, it's so much easier from a laptop. It's so much less freaking complicated than all the shit you have to uh, to, to hit to uh, put people on panel and, and drop link and shit like that. Which I have string. I have um, my um, Nightbot set up to drop the link. If I all I gotta do is program it, <coughs> you know. But language is never foul. Intent is foul. Facts, facts, brother. You you can you can see, you can say a lot and never say what they consider a cuss word and still hurt somebody. You know, 
and you can say a lot with a lot of cuss words in it and excite people. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know? When I, when I catch a fish that's over 30 pounds, I'm screaming, holy fucking shit. And, you know, eh, fuck yeah, woo, motherfucker. You know, just, but it's, it's all because I'm happy. <laughs> you know? People can speak clean and be full of hate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. I said people can say a lot without cussing and still hurt you. You put it a lot simpler. <laughs> Doop. I'll tell everybody hit the thumbs up and somebody hit the thumbs down. <laughs> What's up? What's up? So, have you ever just had something in your hand? You know it was in your hand. You brought the freaking thing in. You know, where is it? It's the other bank. I, I'm like, what did I do with it? It can't be far. You're, you're talking. You're talking to the guy that was leaving for Walmart yesterday, and I couldn't find my glasses. And then I, I, I had the camera on on my phone, and I looked into my camera at myself. I was wearing my glasses on your eyeball, on my face. Yes. And, and they're not reading glasses, you know. They're, I don't need them to see. They're they're those yellow glasses that makes everything brighter, <laughs> you know. And uh, yeah, and I couldn't find my glasses, and they were on my face. Well, that battery <laughs> bank is the battery backup bank is not on my face, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I now I'm this is twice. I've gone out. I've looked. I'm like, where did I set this thing? I had it in my hand <laughs> with my rods. Oh shit. NKR, what's up? Hillbilly, 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 hillbilly. Hell yeah. Oh, Easy, keep it clean. Okay. Have you seen Deadwood? The bad language is constant, but it's full of. But it's not for impact. Not, it's, for it's for impact, not for hatred. Hateful. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to use it for hate. I do. I'm not going to lie. I do. You know, ask AAP. He knows. I, I will. Yeah, I will use it when, when required from the dark side. But <laughs> from the dark side. <laughs> I, also, I, also, I also cuss when I'm happy. <laughs> you know. Unfortunately, I have a trucker's mouth, and I do have to. Usually, <laughs> it's. In in my normal natural setting, I'm horrid. Yeah. I'm absolutely horrid. Oh I'm, yeah. But I can go to work and I can talk to people without ever dropping an F bomb. It's the most bizarre right. thing. You know, right. and I and I'm try I try to do that on the lives, you know, but boy, if I'm sitting at home, even to my mother, I'm like, get that up and once, thing once you start getting comfortable talking to people on here, yeah. You just you start talking like yourself. It happens. Yeah, <laughs> I try not to, but <laughs> I get called yep, out. I, was, I get called out for it on occasion, and I'm like, "Oh, did I?" And even in my lives, some <laughs> of my lives, you can be in, and somebody will say, you know, something about what I said, and I'm like, "What did I say?" Because I mean, I don't know. I just, I just, I just say whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I cuss when I'm happy. I cuss when I'm sad. I cuss when I'm mad. I just, you know, just. Just the way it is. You're talking about all this religious and all that. Isn't there this Lent Lent coming up? I mean, maybe that's what you should do is uh, just just go with a Lent thing and try to not cuss for a week. See how it goes. Or maybe a maybe, on, on, maybe a week week is too I'll, much. I'll, no, we'll, we'll 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 go for a week on this channel. We all can't right. do both channels. We can't do both channels. Oh, Dobson's still, Dobson's still, yeah, see, Dobson's still gonna have the F bomb. Oh, I don't know. That's you a know. good challenge. Uh, no, Dobson, on Dobson can't be Dobson for a week. Oh, uh, I don't know. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be explicit anymore then. See, you can't have no explicit on explicit you, channel. You can talk explicit all you want without dropping any, any explicit, ex, uh, explicitives. 
So just sense talk sense about sense. just like talk about sticking circus peanuts and anal cavities and stuff like that. That way, there's yeah, there's I no mean, cuss word. That's, that's, yeah, and you didn't even have to cuss at all. We, we've done that before. We've done that. We've carried on many conversations like that, using the proper the proper words to describe body orifices without swearing. <laughs> without swearing. I mean, you don't right. have to swear and, and be you know. Explet, explet, expletives, expletives. Expletives. That's a big word for him. Ex, yeah, expletives. So that's properly said. Yes. Paul Nation said, "What brand of bass bait do you use?" Oh <laughs> uh, man, I, I, I use whatever looks like it's gonna catch bass. I have no idea, man. I've got a, uh, I've got rooster tails. I've got crank baits. I've got frogs. I've got uh, swim baits. Um, I got worms, rubber worms, you know. Uh. That was my favorite thing, and I've said it before. My favorite thing about the whole bass fishing is that, I mean, um, you don't have to use worms and, and nasty bait, you know. You just use these lures. <laughs> and Right. I got chatter baits. Got lizards. What are they got chatting poppers. about? I don't know. They, they won't never talk to me. I think they only talk when I got the box shut. <laughs> I think they're mad at me for keeping them locked up or something. But I got big old frogs and I got these little bitty frogs. I, got, I gave a couple of these away. I'm kind of anxious to catch something with these. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, it's just little teeny tiny things, man. Got a little, little, little bluegill hook comes with them. It looks like it's a blue frog, too. Or is it black? This is green. This one's green. Uh, oh, the wow. other one is, uh, and cold. then I got a brown one too. No, well, my phone sucks. It ain't your fault. It, it's reflecting off the, yeah, off it's my, just the camera. My, my phone. Yeah, this is a brown one here. Oh, yeah, well. uh, they were like they were like ninety seven cents at Walmart. I gave a couple away. Bought bought a couple for myself. Maybe I'll get lucky, and a few of those will come in with my rod when JV sends it. It, they might. Well, those those there came from Walmart, but uh, here's yeah, the JV frog. Bigger. Yeah, here's, that's what she said. <laughs> um, so here's some JV frog. There's yeah, one. I've been, yeah, I've seen them. I've actually seen yeah, them in action. Four, yeah. Somebody, somebody that had received some had done a video um at, it, with, and he had multiple ponds that he was visiting, and he was throwing oh, them yeah. out there. Nice. They were hitting it. I've sort of become known for speaking well, so my Australian friend finds it hilarious when he hears me swearing. Oh, I do I'm too, Sasha. Sure I love it. I have a couple times now, and I love it myself. It's awesome. <laughs> That's yeah, like my, I got. I'm so fidgety. How do I even go fishing at catfishing? I'm. Just, I can't sit still. That's my sister's problem. That's why you, you you're you, you might be born to be a bass fisher. Yeah. You know, I, I used to make I used to make fun of bass fishing, but I'm not gonna lie. But now I realize that bass fishing is not easy. It but isn't. For, but for people that can't sit still, that that's that's bass fishing right there. Yeah, and a it cat is fisherman, cat fisherman can sit for hours, man. Sit for hours, smoke a whole bag of weed, smoke a couple packs of cigarettes. Yeah, just hours, just waiting for that sucker to go somewhere. Yeah, and then the, the thing of it is, is that after you sat there for hours and hours and hours, and then you finally reel in, and you realize, oh, you sat there for hours with no bait on the hook. That's well, we time. we still check we still check our bait every so often. You, know? you got to do that. But see, that's that's an advantage to flathead fish. I'm always using live bait, so I know when the bait's still on there because the bobber's still moving. Yeah. Yeah, because things happen where, you know, you cast out and you don't realize maybe the piece of bait flung off or something, you know, so you cast out. Right. And then you sit there for an hour and you're like, oh, man, the bite just shut right off. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, I, the well, see I, there's a trick to that, too. Even if it's pitch black at night and if you cast out and you hear two splashes, yeah. you should probably reel back in and check. It. <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. <laughs> You're like, wait, what's what's that? 
Oh my god. Like to to gay. I will buy it. whichever you feel. I don't care. How many thumbs down is it? Just one? Yeah, give me another thumbs down, make an even number. <laughs> I don't like him odd numbers. I'm going fishing soon. I don't need no bad GG. I thought it was really I weird when I first got my thumbs down because, and luckily I heard all you guys talking about I like about, 13 like, That's my look. No. It doesn't matter if okay. give you the thumbs down because they're interacting with your page still. So Yeah, every every thumb up or down boost your um, algorithm or whatever the hell it's called. I might have said that right, actually. It, it's good. It, is a reaction is a reaction, no matter which one they hit. And what are you more likely to believe that everybody's perfect? Thumbs up. Yeah, and, and that's what I'm saying, dude. If I have a video that has a hundred thumbs down on it, I'm gonna know I did something right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, like Cause my I did, sentiment pissed the world off. <laughs> you know, I, did this, I did this little archery video. All it was was a drive, quick drive. It was kind of a just. A, I thought it was a cute little video, you know, quick drive to the archery range. I might have popped off in the arrow, you know. I did this quick tour, and it wasn't even very long, three minutes or whatever it was, five minutes. And I get, I'm like, who the heck is giving me a thumbs down on uh, on the archery range? I mean. Hey, most of us will tell you if you got haters, you're doing something right. That's just all there is to it. Somebody is jealous of your ass. That means you're doing something right. <laughs> now, like, and the thumbs down, like, you know, I mean, I don't even know, like, if uh, it affects, like you said, okay, you got 100 thumbs down. What's it affecting other than maybe somebody scrolling through videos and they go, oh, that one has 100 thumbs down. I'm not going to watch it. I mean, maybe that's. I don't know. Right. Right. <laughs> but you're probably not somebody I knew that. I, 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 I'm going to watch something. I'm going to watch something if it's got over a hundred thumbs down. Just because you want to know, like, what did they do? They <laughs> exactly. Got down, yeah. So now I yeah. Did, did they talk shit about me? Did they say something racist? Yeah. You know, <laughs> was they homophobic? I want to see what they said. I want to know if I got to burn this fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think you're right. I think I would be the same way. I'd be like, because just like reviews, yeah. I look at reviews. And yeah, I got to know. I got to know why they hate this so much. Yeah, why know. is this so much? <laughs> I have to go in and read it. So I'm like, okay. But no, you pull it up and then you get like three good reviews. I'm like, no, there's a hundred freaking thumbs down. Where are those? You know, now I got to go digging to find these reviews. So, yeah, it's true. Sausages. That's true though. Sasha just put it in chat as algorithm. Al Gore, yeah. Al Gore, Al Gore rhythm. <laughs> That's good stuff. Huh? That's too funny. Uh, who's lagging? Survival must be. Mary says doing good on her phone. I'm yeah, watching. these glasses here. See these yellow? They're just like a, almost like safety glasses. Yeah, they look like it. But, uh, yeah, I get them out of the hardware section at Walmart, dude. They brighten everything up. Even at nighttime, everything's brighter. These things are awesome. And they're Thank only a few that. bucks. Yeah, I'm watching it on the iPad over here so I can see chat, and I'm not seeing anything lagging. Yeah. Who would be seeing what it goes? Yeah, it's messing up. Yeah, they're messing up. I'm watching it on the iPad. I can't see anything lagging. Yeah, it's messing up. And they're just yep. a light. That's where I got these at. Yeah, these looks came like from the same thing. Yeah, except mine don't have the mine are just the uh, clear lens. Yeah, yep, those are safety glasses. Yeah, can see these these come around on the sides. These oh, are these yeah. are safety glasses. Yeah, but uh, but dude, daylight or dark, day day or night, these brighten up everything. I mean yeah, everything. Good, yeah, for like people riding the motorcycles during the uh, at night. Yep. yep. But when I, I wear those out fishing, dude, my my glow sticks are so friggin' bright. <laughs> so, so they'll be like, I don't see her, I don't see your glow stick. I'm like, I see it, dude. I, I gotta like turn away from it. <laughs> you know, it's lit up out there. I kind of can't wait to get out and have something glowing in the water, but. Like the um, Patriot James Bobbers and stuff, um, our current, yeah. you know, like Michael said, the current's just too strong for me to use them here. I mean, I would yeah. need to have... You guys ain't got no lakes to fish at all? What? 
they call them lakes here and they're just retention ponds. They're basically yeah. like I have a I have a pond out back, um, and that's what they are. They're they're man made retention ponds. Um, nothing natural. No natural ponds, no right. natural the the lake, um, like Lake Marion, it took me almost two hours to get to, an hour and forty five minutes to two hours to get there. Um, and that's the closest lake. Well, actually, no, there's one before Marion that's closer, but not, not by much. Uh, and see, that's my problem. I've got, I've got mainly still water. I've got mainly lakes. Deer Creek's a lake. My reservoir behind me is a lake. The Pay Lake's a lake, you know, but then I got the, the little creek, little creek that runs through town. The creek. <laughs> the creek yeah, the I creek got, I'm fishing in. With the crickets are yeah. the creek. All right. Yeah, so down missed, by the creek. I, I like miss, catching them crickets down by the creek. I catch all kinds of fish on crickets out that creek. What's he saying here? <laughs> I saw a hilarious key and key peel, peel skit. Yeah. Which it's I too, gave uh, up, but. Too comedian deeds. <laughs> but he started hitting a dog, so I had to change it to a thumbs down. Yeah, no doubt. Yep. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, right. Um, I missed your explanation of the pay lake. So they're stocking them. I understood that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and this, the, the, our pay lake, and I know, I know people think I'm just talking shit, but the pay lake we fish at is not like the rest of the pay lake. It doesn't do the same shit, but he does stock eater fish. He stocks channel cat. In, in both lakes for people to come and catch to eat. But he also stocks uh, trophy fish in these lakes. But the, the main lake is, is spring-fed from underground. Uh, it doesn't have an aerator. It's 35 feet deep in one part, 22 feet deep in another part, 15 acres of water. And these fish live for years in this lake. You know what I mean? Wow. Uh, and then it flows over into the smaller lake, so it, it's getting water out of the big lake. So it it doesn't stay as as fresh and clean. It's not as deep, but it's mainly the eater fish that he keeps in there. But yeah, you pull in, you give them twenty bucks, give them twenty dollars, uh, and they give you a ticket to fish for twelve hours. Oh, and then you it's, can it's fishing at a private. Yeah, and you can catch up to ten fish, I think, to eat. It might be more than that, but I think it's ten to keep to eat. Or you can catch fish uh, over. What, 10 pounds, you get in the drawing to win a mystery yeah. fish or something. But over 30 pounds, if you catch a fish over 30 pounds, which Maria did last year and caught that 34-pound flathead, wow. um, you get a free a free pass to fish another day, which she awesome. still has that free pass that she'll use this year. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, so her first trip and out that's there basically is... basically what a pay lake means. Yeah. Like, you pay the fish, yeah. but they also pay the now, Yeah, now back in the day, uh, I mean, way back in the day when I was, you know, 15, 16, 17, the, when you went to a pay lake and you caught something over 12 pounds, you got paid cash. You got paid 50 cents a pound cash. Oh, so they're so paid back. Yeah, they actually paid you for every fish you caught over a certain weight. Um, but then they, they, they just wasn't making enough they money to make their, them happy or whatever. So now it's $20 and that puts you in biggest fish of the week the tag jar uh the mystery jar uh and what's the other one um, there's slots there's two yeah. slots where you catch a fish within a certain weight and you're the highest one in that slot at the end of the week you get paid so it's kind of like playing lottery while you're fishing yeah so it's basically paying paying twenty dollars to play the lottery with fish that's what you're doing yeah I don't think that's the best way to put it like in the yeah. hamster, I didn't have any of that. I mean, we had all natural water. I mean, they stocked fishing game, stocked the waters. Yeah, um, I don't. Think yeah, which fishing game they they stock our they stock our city pond. They stock our which yeah the city pond that's parks too beside the creek. Uh, but uh, they they stock the city pond with trout and catfish. They stock the reservoir with catfish and walleye. Uh, sometimes perch. Uh, years ago, they put hybrid bluegill and some big crappie in there, but I, they, they haven't stocked those for years. Um, and then Deer Creek, they stock catfish and uh, saw guy. 
But but if you catch anything out of out of there, any of these places over ten pounds, it, it's it's been in there a long time. You know, they stock yeah. small fish, and they grow, and you know, or get caught, whichever. You know, but that's interesting. Yeah, I just never had heard of. I mean, I've heard it only through YouTube. And I've been hearing. Oh yeah, hearing yeah, that. yeah. A lot of the southern states have no clue. They ain't never heard of Pele. They don't know what the hell you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've, I've realized that on YouTube myself. A lot of them down south um, have no clue what, what I'm talking about with Pele. Yeah, it's just... it's. Uh, yeah, but I was up north and owns, I didn't have it either, so... Yeah, yeah. Someone owns a private a private lake uh, or, a, or a pond, a body of water, or private property. They pay a, a, a business tax or a, buy a fucking vendor's license and, and all that bunch of shit. And they, they charge people to fish and they make lots and lots of money. They make bank. So do, do they, yeah. are they paying for the stocking then too? The stocking, not stocking. <laughs> well, some of them, some of them are, some of them are the, the one we fish at, he actually has to buy the fish. He buys them from somebody else that goes and gets the fish. Uh, the, the channels are usually farm raised. Sometimes they're from a river. He'll tell you what, he'll tell you whichever one when he puts them in. Um, which they all get mixed up and they're in there. But I, I, I feel even if a fish has been in the high river, once he f swims around in clean water for a while, I think he'll be all right. I don't think he's going to kill nobody. Right. But, um, but yeah, he actually pays for them. But the, the one I complain about a lot, Catfish Paradise, uh, not only does he kill 10,000 pounds of fish every weekend just wow. to make some extra money, yeah, he he he'll, he'll stock ten thousand pounds in each in each lake, and then he'll juice one or two of those lakes with copper sulfate, which makes those fish go on an eating frenzy, which also makes those fish die. Oh wow! And and then he just he just turns around with his nets and his boats and goes and catches another ten thousand pounds of fish to put in it. Oh wow! So it's not costing him, so he's not paying thousands That's for those horrible. fish, and he don't give a shit. Yeah. And that's what's happened to the Ohio River. That's why the Ohio River sucks. Because guys like that have destroyed it. Yeah, that's awful. And there was one, and again, I'm not, I don't know if it, maybe it was Sunfish Assassin who <clears throat> put up the video of all these, I mean, freaking trillions of trillions of fish just on the bank. I mean, a mix of species of fish. Right. Uh, but I think that was based on um, a lack of oxygen, maybe in the water. Yeah. But I didn't know what caused it. You know. Yeah. Maybe it's something like you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, it, it very, very well could have been. It very well could have been, but lack of oxygen in that kind of looks similar. There's like a scum on top of the water, and like it's out, of, you know, and then fish just start floating up. Right. And sometimes the big, big fish, you don't even know they died. They don't even float up from the bottom. They'll just lay down there and rot a lot of times. Kind of funny you say that, um, Sexy Monkey, because I'm often, you know, I'm told to carry all the time down here. And I do have a gun. Um, but, you know, I say it all, a lot in my videos. I don't. And if it's not for the people, which I'm in Myrtle Beach, so it could very well be, but also for the animals, if we had the wild boar or, you know, you got to scare off a gator, but I don't, I don't want to shoot the animals. And I certainly definitely don't want to shoot a person, have to shoot a person, but, um, you know, it does get crazy down here. That's just depends on the circumstance. That's just depends on the circumstance, whether I want to shoot the person or not. Yeah. <laughs> the, anim <laughs> the animals, you know, they're they're doing what animals do. So if you're giving them their space, in most cases, I mean, exactly. not, it's not going to happen all the time, but it, yeah. they're only going to be aggressive if you're threatening them or if you're threatening their, um, their offspring, you know, or if you're coming right. between, you know, just like anywhere, but um, except for maybe the cotton mouths, they're just crazy. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, they are. They I don't mean, give I a fuck. They'll I take you out of bank. I have not experienced one yet, but I've heard the stories about you know all you have to do is step they're, on the wrong rock, and then they are, they're going to yeah. come out. Oh yeah, yeah, they're up here. They're up here. They're they're in Ohio, so I know they're where you're at. 
But then no, again, but... I mean, am I going to be shooting a cotton mouth? Probably not, you know, but. I don't so, know. I probably would have. If I would have had a gun back in the day, I probably would have. <laughs> Chasing me and down the creek bed, I probably would have shot that some bitch. And it's kind of interesting, actually, because when I was doing all my hiking and I was up in the White Mountains and hiking all the time, and part of that is on the Appalachian Trail, and you <clears throat> hear a lot of the people talking about the Appalachian Trail and these women, there was a few of them um, that, ended up getting murdered some crazy people because if you're close to a town or something and these crazy yeah. people you know happen you know whatever but yeah. and everybody would always say oh my gosh you know you got to carry while you're up there i said carry for what like they're, they're the most friendliest group of people these hikers you know and you meet and right. you pass so many people on these narrow trailers trails you know so unless you're out there at night you know or in that sketchy area you know, yeah. likely, but everybody's like, oh, because of the bear, because of the moose. And okay, well, yes, if you get between the bear and its cubs, it's and it's going to bluff charge you. Now, it's never happened to me, but it, I've had bear come up my trail. I've had bear when I came down the trail. I had a moose come up the trail. I'm more worried about the moose than the bear because um, right. they're unpredictable. But, um, but it, but even that, my friends have experienced where they didn't they came between the bear and the cub, and the bear bluff charged them, you know. But you can see stand, you know, they say that stand your ground. It's a freaking bear coming at me, you know. Hello, right. I'm gonna run like a mother. <laughs> yep, uh, yep. I'm not but, gonna be able yeah. to just stand there or curl yeah. up in the fetal position. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, that's a grizzly bear. I think you got to do that. But the yeah, black bear. I ain't doing the black, yeah, the black bear. Oh yeah, they're they're gonna bluff charge you. You gotta stand tall. I'm like, yeah, you stand tall. Yeah. You're not gonna be running down the trail. Right. Uh, but those up there in the uh, White Mountains is kind of funny because they, it's just like Yogi Bear in the picnic basket. Uh, they would come up and steal your. There were some areas that people literally were sitting on these platforms eating their lunch. And a bear would have come up behind them and stole their freaking lunch. You know, they come up and snatch your lunch away. Yeah, it's crazy. Right. <laughs> These are little bears. These are big bears. Right. Yep. Yeah, we uh, ain't got to worry about bears here, but the raccoons will take your shit. <laughs> raccoon will um, straight take your bait. He'll get in your cooler. He'll take whatever he wants. He'll take your night crawlers. He'll take your aerator because it's warm and vibrating. Yeah. I had to oh go back God. in the woods and track my aerator down last year. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Sasha, over here they got a, a, a conceal and carry. They, they they sell in most states over here, and that, that means they can conceal a firearm and carry a firearm just about anywhere they want to in that state. And they also sell them that covers every state that has them, from what I understand. <laughs> Still trying to read behind between the spider webs here. <laughs> I thought maybe if I flipped it upside down, it would be better, but well, maybe. Um, yeah, it, it, it and it's funny because uh, Michael was telling me that the snakes here with your bait, you know, like in the summer, especially in the summertime, I guess, um, you know, you want to come down to go fishing, cat fishing, and you got your bait in your cooler. You don't, you know, you don't really don't want to do that because that's what they're coming. The, these cotton mouths are going to come up and they want your bait, you know. Right. And and as stupid as I am being the northerner, I don't know anything about that sort of thing. We didn't have that. <laughs> uh, you know, and I didn't even know that that's what they ate fish or whatever. Well, yeah, they're water fit. They're water snakes, right? Yep. What are they eating? Yep. Yeah, they're good. They're going to eat whatever, but. Um, they, they, they take down they take down eight inch crappie out here in fall all the whole time. <laughs> I I just had no I didn't know but and then they're telling me a couple spots that I want I've been at and checking out. Oh, you got to watch for the snakes in the trees. And I'm like, yeah, that's full of crap. I've read this right. You know <laughs> that, that a, a water moccasin it has too thick of a body to be up in a tree. Well, now I'm down right. here and everybody's like, oh no, they they will drop from the trees. Yeah. And I'm like. Yeah, the first uh, time I'm the sitting here doing a live, and I've got freaking yeah, uh, yeah, 
We got black snakes way bigger than moccasins, and they climb a tree like it ain't nothing. The coolest snake in New Hampshire was the black racers. Those things are super fast, super big, super long, non-venomous. I still wouldn't mess yep. with it. But the only venomous snake in New Hampshire that we have is a timber rattler. And um, they're actually a um, endangered species there. And I've, I never, in all my years, I never, ever saw one. Huh. I guess, it and you know, that's like my mom told me uh, about when she was a kid. They had these ones called blue racers, and uh, I ain't never seen or heard of them them snakes in my lifetime. But mom told me a few stories about these snakes when she was a kid, and uh, I never did get to see one, so I don't know if they're endangered or if they're gone now too. Or I never uh, even heard. But of yeah, I never maybe think of. Yeah, because you said black racer made me think about that. Mom, mom told me that story many times. Yeah. The coolest snake I've ever seen, and I had never, similar to that, I'd never seen it again. I don't even know what it is. I called it a circus snake. I think I was five years old. And I can remember, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I was out there and uh, my friends found this and we were all standing around this snake. It was all curled up. I assume it's non-venomous because it's New Hampshire, um, but who knows? Um, but it had these amazing colors, like, and they were the black, the yellow, the reds. The thing, you know, when they say black on red or black on yellow um, is how you determine, but it had all these amazing colors. And really, it was a beautiful, I remember it being just a beautiful, but big snake. And I'd never seen yeah. one again. So, I mean, could it have been somebody's snake that they let go? Maybe. Um, they did actually have alligators. And we don't have alligators in New Hampshire. It's definitely not common. In one of our fishing ponds, there were alligators because some freaking idiot put them there. They transported these species and put them in our pond. How they, I don't even think they could survive because it's just too cold. Right. Yeah, it gets too cold. They tried uh, one of the pay legs here, which this broke my heart too. One of the pay legs here bought and had it shipped in a red tail catfish. I don't know if you oh, ever my... watched any of the exotic fishing channels. Yeah, I you know, know what I'm talking I about. I just saw one at our um, aquarium at yeah. my Ripley's Aquarium. I have it on my video. They're beautiful. They put beautiful. one. They put one in one of the pay lakes out here. Weighed sixty pounds, and he wow. couldn't survive the winter. Couldn't survive the winter. Couldn't do it. Just too cold, man. That's too bad. I never even had heard of them before. The first time was at Ripley's Aquarium, and um, I kept, and in fact, I, I kept taking a picture of this thing and trying to videotape it. It was dark in a tank, but it was in like yeah. an Amazon forest kind of, uh, part. Like, so obviously, I mean, that must be the area that they're, they're normalized in centralized. Yeah, this in. was, you seen a coral snake, the one you was talking about earlier with the red and the yellow and, the, and everything. That oh, was maybe. A coral snake. Oh, yeah. maybe I'll have to look that up later at it. I, and that very well could be. Yeah, that's what I haven't said. No, I, I'm laying money. He's right. For a coral snake in New Hampshire? Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Yeah. It was, it was Which, beautiful. I mean, there, you know, uh, we shouldn't have the, the rattlesnakes in Ohio, but some somebody thought it was a bright idea a long time ago, like 50 years ago, to bring some up here and just see if they did that. Isn't that crazy? So, they did. <laughs> that's, yeah. Um, yeah. The, we we have rattlesnakes here in South Carolina amongst the I, when I first came down here I was only it's funny because I think I've said this story before but my mother and my brother have been down here 10 years and never saw never saw a poisonous snake and uh, I was down here a week and two days and I was only two steps from stepping on the freaking um, copperhead because he was and I was just got done talking to this park ranger down at Brook Green Gardens, you know, it's beautiful. And he says, ah, the chances are really slim that you'll even see one. And uh, so I'm feeling all brave and confident. I'm like, okay, and I'm trucking along down this trail. And I I had my foot out, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? You know, I literally had to pull back. And I'm like, is that a, yep, it sure is. Hershey kisses and all, I'm like, I cannot. He didn't even move. He was just stretched right out across his path. 
And I'm like, are you kidding? And so naturally, once I finally got my foot out of the air, I take my foot back and I get my camera out. I got to take a picture of it before I decide to beat feet the other way. But yeah, but we also um, have the rattlesnakes down here and I have a video of that on my YouTube, um, on my channel, like I'm not on YouTube right now. <laughs> Over on my YouTube, <laughs> um, the, the rattlesnake was huge and it was across the street from me. And it says one of the ones with the shorter head on it. The long one goes in one of the ones over here. Well, it can't be a coral snake then, Abbott, if it's deadly. So this snake was pretty docile, didn't cause any problems. Which one? The copperhead? The, uh, the, the copper one that you down did, here? The one that you were just referring to. They said you, you yeah. touched it. You were, I didn't, didn't touch it. Oh. No. The copperhead is... Um, Definitely one of the most poisonous snakes down here. So, yeah, copperhead's um, nasty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, actually, I guess the cotton mouth is probably, probably, just, I don't know if it's more poisonous or not, but either way. Um, but no, the copperhead, but he was just laid out sunning himself. And that's the problem down here versus New Hampshire. Like in New Hampshire, you'd walk along and basically your typical garden snake. You know, but it would slither off. You know, it would move away and move off. But down here, you know, the the copperheads will just stay and lay there. So that's the problem. And and you you'll step on them. So yep. you really have to be very very cautious of where you're stepping. Yeah. Sure. I just found out the other day. I don't know if you know that snakes don't have eyelids, so they can't close their eyes. Yeah, they can't blink. Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah, it's. I mean, they must. They must sleep, but they sleep with their eyes open. What a big part. That's weird. Um, no, they have a. Um, don't they have a layer of because they can protect their eye with a uh, this clear layer that comes down over their eye their eyes. So it is in a sense like an eyelid. I see. Yeah. I, I believe so. I would believe. I do believe so because um, and when they shed. Um, their eyes actually turn that weird white-ish color. Or if they're getting ready to molt, it'll change that color. I almost sound like I know what I'm talking about, but that's because <laughs> I Google everything. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think they blink from left to right instead of up, up to down. But that's only I don't know. I, mm. I, I thought they had some sort of film that can come down and cover their eye, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's just when they're shedding. Because they're very, um, they're in a very delicate. Um, when they're when they're molting and shedding or whatever, they're actually in a dangerous state, I think. So they need some sort of protection. I don't know. We'll have to research that. They have eye shields that cover their eyes. Uh, avid fisherman says. There you go. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm just. Uh... Found it slightly interesting. Yeah. When I found that out, they, they, they don't have eyelids, but you know, different species, <laughs> of course. Right. Willie, did you say you're trying to behave and you're trying to watch your speech? And... Not tonight. We'll start that later. <laughs> Not tonight. Oh, yeah. And if I was, I already screwed that up. <laughs> but no, we'll start. We'll try that later. That's a Dobson challenge. I think he should do it on the explicit channel myself. Well, like you said, I mean, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be honest about it, I have to do it on both channels, right? I mean, I think so. I think that's true. I mean, it's, and it's a week, honestly. So if you're doing it here, and I apologize because I don't, I think I did let it out here in, in your clean channel. I've let it out a few times. <laughs> <laughs> But that's all right, I think, because you're not you're not attacking anybody. It's not you're not saying it with aggression. No. Yeah, I think. <laughs> no, but I don't need to swear, and I try not to. But like I get going like that, I was in the middle of this, you know, and then I it just comes out. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm terrible. Are we still building the cat? Are we still building the cat tower? Yeah, somebody put a, uh, something in the wrong hole. I'm building the uh, cat tower. <laughs> someone put something in the wrong hole, and it was uh, it, way deep in the wrong hole. And uh, <laughs> so I just screwed the threads up, taking it back out with pliers. So hope it still works in the slot it's supposed to go, in the how slot many, it's supposed to be in. How many cats are using this? Two. If the fat one will even get, it, if the fat one will even climb up on it, I don't even know. And how how He's tall if, is it? Uh. I mean, is it like almost touching your ceiling tall, or is it oh, like no, no. thing? It's five foot seven inch tall. Oh that's wow, that's forget. a big one. Yeah. You know what? I, I always wanted to do. I've always been a cat person, and I had two in New Hampshire before I had to pack everything in my SUV and come down here, but. I always wanted to build like, and you see people do it where they build up on their walls and they have like these, actually there is a, there is a TV show with it and this person built their entire house for the cats, which is crazy because there must have been a hundred of them and that's just nasty to keep up with. <laughs> but, I mean, they had tunnels that went from one room into another room and then they had like, you know, you could walk up like a you know, these steps and go through other tunnels going across the wall, kind of like doing a train and the train tracks around the ceiling, <laughs> but it was for the cats. Yeah, there's another one right in the hole. You know, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight until I find that freaking bank. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm legit still sitting here going, where is it? I don't even, I don't even know. I can't even imagine. I mean, I know I had two. I had one in my hand. This is not it. Next step. So are you going out fishing tomorrow? I'm thinking about it. Just depends on what time I get to bed tonight. That's what keeps happening. I, I, I was supposed to go fishing the day before yesterday. I was supposed to go fi or fishing yesterday. I was supposed to go fishing today. Well, I slept too late both days. Plus, I woke up today and had that stimulus. So then I had other shit to do. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? So. Yeah, everybody was talking about how they got that. I, I don't think, I don't know what's going to happen with mine. I didn't ever get the $600 because I think um, my spouse in New Hampshire ended up with it. Take that on the ground. Put that in there. And put that on. Those two are on the same damn hole. Yeah, I do need to put a tracker on it, Avid. You're right. What the heck? I mean, legitimately, it was from the car to here. It's like, I just don't get it. However, it's dark out, and maybe I maybe I put it down in the back of the car when I was pulling the rod, you know, like I had it in my hand. Maybe I set it down. I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll find it. But you watch, I'll be out there at freaking midnight in a tornado because we're getting tornadoes tomorrow. They're due to arrive tomorrow. No. But I'll be out there in the tornado looking for my battery bank. <laughs> <laughs> I'll videotape it for sure. <laughs> Can you picture me floating around in my tornado? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's my bank. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Do they, do they last a long time or they do they just I pass quickly? I have never experienced them. <laughs> I mean, I'm, we don't get them. We generally don't get them in New Hampshire. And I've only been down here since September. Um, and from what I understand from the weather report, this storm... What? They're calling it not a category, but this is like a level four storm. So we're expecting hail, 
heavy winds. Now, mind you, I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and we're expecting hail, super heavy winds, um, thunder and lightning storms, and um, there is a, uh, a possibility of several strong tornadoes. So, um, but they said that they haven't been in this level four storm since April of 2019 was the last time they were ever at this level. So it's going to be, a, I guess it's supposed to be a pretty hefty storm. And right now, tonight, I was out there and the, the sky looks pretty dangerous, black. Don't talk anymore. Just screw the fucking thing up and stop it. With Clark. Just screw your hands before. We don't get hit. The whole thing that works with me. You're being loud over there, Dobson. (laughs) My bad. I mean, I feel like this is an unboxing for the cats. (laughs) Pretty much. $72 $72 fucking cat toy. I know. I can't believe you pay that. And yeah, if you, yeah. I mean, actually, that's not bad because I've seen them for a hundred and some odd dollars. Right. Exactly. They they only had two sizes. One just wasn't enough for both cats. And uh, then there was this one. So. Oh, you're going to show it to us when you're done building it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's, it's getting there now. Because, yeah. I mean, we pretty much have seen you build this for this whole show, and we have not yet seen it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you haven't seen it at all, yeah. <laughs> so. And we, want, of course, want to see the cats using it. I was slightly confused, because earlier you were talking about cat fishing, and I, I didn't know what kind of a cat you meant. <laughs> <laughs> you mean your actual cats? Where are you actually from? Where are you? Um, like, where are you located? Well, you mean specifically? Uh, I'm in the UK. England. Oh, see, now I know nothing about the UK really, as far as he's across the pond. I mean, I don't know anything <laughs> about the South either. So, and here I am. <laughs> but Lori just fits in with us so well. Exactly. I don't know. <laughs> You couldn't tell by my accent? Oh, no, I can definitely tell your accent. Um, now, were you, you weren't just in a live that I was just watching. No, that was. No, I, think, no. No, I mean, I've spoken no. with you rec- I've spoken with you before. I'm pretty, or maybe it was in here. It could have been in here. I, uh, I haven't been on any other live streams today, so. No, 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 I don't mean today. In the past, it was in the past, but maybe it was on Dobson's explicit channel. Oh, yeah, in the past, yeah, probably. Yeah, I thought you said, I thought you just said earlier today. No, no, I haven't been on either. I was at oh. work. Um, no, but there was, um, no, I guess that person was in that I was thinking of is actually in the Netherlands, um, or up in that area somewhere, but. That's what I was thinking, I guess. I think that's what I was thinking about. Same thing. I still don't know anything. I've barely been out of the tri-states of New England, so. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> so you don't have catfish in the UK? Well, I, I don't I don't have, know anything about fishing except that it's, it's I mean, I know about Man, Maria's little- building it, but it's almost done. He said um, he won't be done building until after midnight. When it comes to fishing, I'm not the person to talk to. <laughs> um, there's a, a guy who goes to the UK all the time and catches a carp. Uh, is T.A. Fishing? Catfish or carp. Uh, Luke Nichols. Oh, yeah, I knew that, I knew that guy, too. Huh? Yeah, he goes to the UK a lot and fishes for carp. But he's not from the UK, or he's he, from here. Oh, that's kind of uh, weird, isn't it? That's a long way to travel. <laughs> uh, he he is actually his day job is being a lawyer. So he he they do trips to the UK as a family. I mean, I don't even like to drive an hour to go fishing. So. <laughs> 
bottom part of the fish a little bit. I legitimately try to stick around the house if I can, but down here, it, you just can't. There's too, there's no banks to fish on. They just give you no no space at all. Right. Mangoes are delicious. Yeah, I love mangoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Mad. <laughs> Should I put the in but no, uh, no, I kind of figured that you was from the UK when I first heard your voice because I was talking to a girl from the UK. What is it I've been talking about? The damn fugly, <laughs> yeah, I haven't called me fugly. Uh, <laughs> oh, Paul, you haven't really been live uh, for quite some time, were you? I mean, uh, you used to. I actually had a live like yesterday. Well, I know recently, but but you hadn't been on for quite some time, were you? Uh. No, because I haven't been catching a fish and oh. I've been busy. Uh, taking care of my kids and there you go. Getting other things together. Life. Well, not just that. It's more getting more fish and stuff together and everything. It's been about seven weeks since I last went live. I think. Yeah. I'm dead in YouTube terms. <laughs> well, I went a month without doing a live or a video, so I, I was like waiting for the winter to be done, to be honest. It says there's three people in chat and there's three of us up on screen, so <laughs> <laughs> Well, we know Avid's in chat. No, I think Avid left. Oh, yeah, he went to work. Yeah. Speaking of watching your language, uh, <clears throat> Willie, I just put up my first video that I age restricted. I've never done that before. That turns the comments off, I think. No. Oh, it yeah. It, it doesn't. No, I've maybe received, for kids, turn the comments off. No. I've received comments, so it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still get comments. Um, so it's only eighteen and up. Yeah, I didn't have yeah. to do it, but I just, I just decided to do it for this one. Oh well, send a link oh, to yeah. this. I, I, I haven't seen it. It's only sixteen, mm -hmm. seven, but I don't even know if I have a link to your page. I'm pretty. I try to link into everybody, so I share because I share links when I can. But if um, you drop a link somewhere in there, I'll pick it up. I can link it if you want. Um, please, please do. To that particular video, you mean? Or just to your channel, and I'll just find it. Uh, okay. My last actual video I've done was only like nine minutes long. <laughs> I'm trying to get, I, I should be right now working on my video to do my premiere thing, but. Yeah. I'm actually going to start doing kayak fishing. Oh, my gosh. I so want to get my kayak. I just. Uh, well, there's are saying I'm 300 pounds. No idea. Yeah, I ain't getting no kayak. I'm 300 pounds. Yes. Nah. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Well, what kind of kayak do you have? Are you doing a sit in or a sit on top? Sit on top. Oh, well, there you go. I mean, so then that shouldn't matter. If you were doing the, I mean, they still, because I just bought, before I came down here, I got to sit on top and I had the, and the only difference between my two kayaks is one actually had a cover over the hole, but the, the way it seats in and the way everything else seemed to be the same. Yeah. So they call it the sit on top, but it's not like it's, you know, it still has that, that dip in it. Yeah. That's like, that's like I bought a fish finder for my kayak. Oh, yeah. It's a kayak fish finder, and I bought this for my anchor. 
Oh, that is oh, cool. Scotty. The Scotty locking. Nice. Anch anchor lock. So do you have a uh, kayak that's set up specifically for fishing, the fishing kayaks with the holders, or are you building it? Um, I have one that has, like, uh, a two-pole holder right behind me. Uh, it's, I'm just trying to get, like, my fish finder on it, get that get on it for the anchor. I'm just trying to get set up right now. I already took it out once just to get used to the keeping it stable. Oh, cool. Because mine, mine is the max capacity of mine is 350. It's 11 foot long. The maximum weight capacity is 350? Yeah. And you're adding okay. weight to it. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. I see that just as a suggestion. <laughs> I can see some issues here. <laughs> Did you? I still don't see the link. I'm still looking. It's under private chat. I put it in the private chat and uh, link to my channel. Uh, she's on her phone, I think. Yeah, I am. So I don't get that. I'm sorry. Here, I'll I'll put it into the. Hello. I thought my it should well, possibly make this video just as an explanation. Oh no, I have it. Um, I do have it. I've received some okay. comments in some of my videos recently that, um, well, I received them because of a misunderstanding. Or so. It comes down to my channel name. I didn't pick my channel name, Monkeys. Um, so this video is just an explanation. I didn't choose. The name Sexy Monkey. It came about the first time I live streamed with JVTV. It happened through that chat. He called me Sexy Monkey, um, and it just kept calling me Sexy Monkey, and the name just stuck. I didn't. If I could find those clips, I'll maybe show them here because I just want to reiterate that I didn't pick name myself i don't think myself that i'm sexy um, <laughs> you heard that day <laughs> <laughs> yeah i felt like i needed to explain a lot of people <laughs> misinterpret the name and it's happened a lot actually so hey i will me jv's buddy so <laughs> yeah but if if when dobson's done i'm gonna show him my that's fishing pool. I bought. So that's one of the reasons why I'm uh, on here. Is that a? I'm just looking at the. It, it, that looks like a samurai sword he's got. Maybe it's a fishing rod. It, it looks behind the shelves. What, what's that? On? No, it's probably a fishing rod. It's a fishing rod. No, I just I just see a, a large handle. It looks like it could be a stone. Right. <laughs> what? That looks like a same when I saw it. Oh, they? <laughs> yeah, but it's a fishing rod. Well, from a distance. Yeah, that's a, ten, like, that's a ten foot fishing pole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh, uh, she's gone. Yeah, she popped out to Oh yeah. But now uh Yeah, my last live I have I just looked at it this morning I had like 340 some viewers on my last live. Probably don't have to. Just that's just what it looks like in but that sounds like a lot to me. I think there's supposed to be two in that, but I don't know. It was my hundred subscriber live. I don't get anything like those those numbers. <laughs> well, that's my first time ever getting like three over three hundred on I've a, YouTube. I've got a couple of videos that have got massive numbers, but not 
it's it's not because of me it's because of what the video is i think <laughs> i know right <laughs> but no i got a big order of it's called Guggen Bates, which Dobson should know. Yeah, I know Guggen. Guggen. Guggen Squad. Um, Guggen's, their baits are supposedly a whole lot stronger plastic for plastic baits and a whole lot better paint on their hard baits. So... I'm going to try them out. I was trying to read what it says in your T-shirt. So the secret to fishing is... I didn't catch the rest of it. Oh, uh, on Dobson's or mine? On Dobson's. On Dobson's. What? The secret to fishing is what? On your T-shirt. Take a little wrinkle up 40 foot back in. Catnip. Catnip, I swear. <laughs> it really is catnip. This time it actually is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got some I got some catnip here. <laughs> you got jars full and bags full and we'll get you back, Laura. If you want, come back. When I make a video restricted, does that mean you have to tell YouTube how old you are before you can watch it? Yes. No. That if if you don't have, basically, if someone does not have a YouTube channel or account with YouTube that already has their birth date, uh, you have to put in birth date to watch the video. So, I mean, I've made worse videos that I didn't do that to. This is the only video that I've age restricted ever. I don't think I'll ever age restrict mine. <laughs> I ain't everybody, or we can move it over here and eat everybody. Said, nah, it's okay. What's well, done now? <laughs> but no, Dobson. I have the Dinelli rod with the Dinelli bait, uh, bait casting bass reel. Oh yeah, I have. I've got. I've got comments on my video, so. In my case, that's not true. It hasn't turned the comments off. No. No, it's, the only way that will turn off the comments if you uh, restrict it to just kids. Then right. we'll take off the comments. Every video I make, it's it, the default is uh, not made for children. Yeah, like that's, that's like mine. And that's why they're, that's why people can comment it because it's not made for children well, if it's made for children then comments are turned off i have nothing against children watching but no i there was a weird a long time ago i did a live stream and two two children came in one of them was 11 one of them was 10 i think and yeah. i didn't know how old they were before they came in um But so, what if children are watching? I'm not. I'm not making anything that's going to upset children. I don't think. I know, right? Especially these days when children thinks that they're the opposite sex, or think say that they're non-binary, or exactly, yeah, they well. cuss and. So it's it's pretty bad right now. They have no respect for 
their elders or anything. Yeah. There's a lot of children who live where I live and they're always screaming and crying and making a load of noise. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to go in my kitchen. So, but yeah, it's fishing is quite fun. So, no matter what type of fishing you do. Yeah, I get that. You know, in the, it's a nice environment to be, to be, to be out for a long time because it's peaceful. Just being out in nature is fun, and kids these days don't realize that. They think it's vi all about video games. That's fun. Yeah. Last game I played was Street Fighter in 1988. <laughs> Nothing since then. <laughs> I finished it. Yay. But I got a lot of baits right now, but I'm going to be getting more. Oh, they got a little ball to play with, too. Oh. Yep. Two of them. Ooh. You're spoiling them. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, that's what you're you Put catnip in hand, scratch and post. <laughs> Good case. And that, that's how much they appreciate it. <laughs> that's what he thinks. That's what he thinks about it. I bet you Dobson's gonna play with the. Uh, so get get your, ball ball. So get, get your money back, Dad. Yeah. So. Dobson, are you gonna start scratching at that scratching post too? If they don't, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Spent seventy two dollars on that son of a bitch. Somebody's gotta use it. <laughs> Try to get some of that catnip out. <laughs> Maria said she'll lay upside down and play with it. Y'all watch that video, wouldn't you? Oh, I will I would totally watch that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. But yeah, Dobson, here's my frog. Shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of work. <laughs> Oh, that's what happens when we buy stuff. Oh, God. That's yeah. big stuff. $2 in a workout. That's what that was. Have you ever seen spinner bait? With a spinner inside of a spinner? Oh, yeah. Everything. Wi-Fi. 
Oh, there's thing. I didn't know you were talking about putting over there under the air conditioning. It leaks. I thought you meant where the filing cabinet is. Uh, <laughs> 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 looks complicated. It does, doesn't it? That spinner bait looks complicated, she said. Oh, shit. Well, we done hit 420, past 420. Yeah. It's, uh, if I have any chance of, yeah, I done missed 420. I'll probably be getting off here soon, but since we missed 420 on the stream, I guess I gotta, I gotta smoke another one before I shut down. <laughs> but yeah, it does look complicated, but hopefully it'll work. Does it spin? Oh, yeah. It's two different spins. Yeah. Does, does the skirt stick out behind it when it's spinning? Yeah. Then it'll work. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> it just depends so, on... So, some fish somewhere will hit it. If, if nothing hits it when you're bass fishing, then go out on a full moon and throw <laughs> and catch a bass or a catfish on it. <laughs> I try to go with shark truce or black or black and shark truce baits. Right. At least when it comes to the hard baits. Have you ever heard of this company? Retraction. Reaction. Retraction? No. Supposedly, the owner of this company makes porn. Makes corn. Porn. porn. Nice. <laughs> that would explain the name, wouldn't it? I know, right? <laughs> And they began in 2002. Huh. By the way, um, Maria, I hope I didn't. I hope I didn't. By the way, I hope I didn't offend anybody by what I said in the spot group. What you said earlier, Maria, about hurting animals. Oh, no, we didn't no. That. no. Good. Because you never know. There's thing, bud. You don't really need to apologize for stuff. People gets butt hurt over something. Yep. Snowflakes. Snowflakes are going to melt. Haters are going to hate. Yeah, exactly. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Haters going to hate, hate, hate. Take it up. Shake it up. I'm like, on my last live, that second time I ever had a someone put a thumbs down on my stuff. <laughs> I got 14 up and 3 down right now. But I was like, really? Everybody loved that show. <laughs> right. <laughs> Whenever someone came in, I kind of did like a announcement before I popped them in. Yeah. You sure nobody got, nobody timed nobody out and you didn't see it or nothing like that? No, as far as I saw, no one got timed out. Yeah. Does that happen sometimes? Somebody comes in, somebody else got a wrench, and they don't like them, and they just go ahead and block them because they felt like it. To be honest, that's why I did not um, 
give uh, NKR a wrench because him and our guy was don't like each other and they was going at it on one mile rides and yeah, I, 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 I try not to give a wrench to anybody under the age of 18. Mm-hmm. That, that that's just my, that's my rule, personal rule, I think. Dobson should know my age. Some people still think that a down thumbs down is effective. I mean, well, it depends why the person does it, I suppose. Well, yeah. it, it it depends on how. Let's say you only got one thumbs down, but no thumbs up, then it does hurt your YouTube algorithm. So it. That's basically what it is with the thumbs up, thumbs down stuff. If more people likes your stuff, more YouTuber is going to push your stuff. So. That's basically how it usually goes. I, I, still, think, I still think if a video has 5,000 views, and 3,000 thumbs down and 2,000 thumbs up, I still think it's going to be pushed by YouTube just because it's still got 5,000 views. They're going to push it regardless of what the response is to it. And like me and Lori was talking about on here earlier, if if you see a video that's got 100 thumbs down and just a few thumbs up, you're going to watch that video because you want to know why it has 100 thumbs down and only three <laughs> thumbs up. You know what I mean? Then I just randomly just give up, give them a thumbs up, <laughs> just right. support. Right. But I mean, curiosity makes us makes us have to watch that video. Have you ever heard curiosity kills the cat? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I got I had nine lives, and I got I, I probably used seven of them. So. <laughs> I still got one to play with. <laughs> or two. Yep. <laughs> one to play with, one to go on. <laughs> so, Dobson, are you going to get uh, – do you have any leader line? Leader line. <clears throat> yeah. Or do you just I use just, braid? I just double my monofilament to make my leaders. Uh. And like, I mean, if I'm fishing in the creek uh, and fishing for channel cat, sometimes I'll, I'll single single line leader, 25 pound big game. But here you go. Hello. What's up? Is Whisker Seeker leader line 50 pound? Oh, uh, yeah. Does it actually find the whiskers? <laughs> I don't know. I know. I mean, that's kind of fun. Uh, that's the only reason I never bought a whisker seeker rod. I mean, does it actually find the fish for you? No. Or do you still have to cast it to where the fish are? You know what I mean? Oh uh, yeah. Well, then, then I'm the whisker seeker. Then not the not the pole. <laughs> you know, see what I'm saying? I don't buy the whisker seeker poles because I don't like them. They're too strong like there are two stuff that's what she said <laughs> I knew Dobson was going to say that she don't like that cocaine Peter she said it's just too damn hard <laughs> <laughs> she loves the cocaine she loves the cocaine I had to bite my tongue when you said you put it in the wrong hole. <laughs> oh, yeah. I meant that. I meant that uh, to be that way when I was talking about Maria put something in the wrong hole. And then it was too tight and she put it in too deep. And yeah, I meant I meant, I meant, meant that to sound that way. <laughs> that happens a lot, doesn't it, Dobson? Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Yep, she put it in the wrong hole, balls deep, and then we had to use pliers to get it back out. 
man. We need JV on here because stuff's going to be even more funny if he's on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody sucks a pickle like JV. That's for sure. <laughs> Expect <laughs> yodeling pickle. <laughs> Sauce is the one to clip that and send it back to me. <laughs> yeah. Because you said, you said, didn't, I think you said in the moment, somebody, somebody save that. And yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah, we got it. We, we need to save that. We need to make a video out of that or something. Yeah, you did. Um, yeah. But no, uh, I thought he was going to randomly pick a video for me when it landed on me because I told him to. Yeah. But he waited and waited for me to answer. I was on my live. <laughs> yeah, man. Lily. We told him he was live. Lily. Then he just get me. Shame. Yeah. He could have came to my live while he was live. <laughs> I think uh React I think, to two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I, think, well, yep. I think Lily can smell the catnip or something. She's going crazy. <laughs> Through the phone. Oh, this ain't catnip this time. Well, she's she's been she's been uh she's gotta change her mood. She's gonna cuckoo for cuckoo puffs? Yep. About <laughs> to have me a change of mood. I know how that is. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, I spent seventy-two dollars on that cat thing that Maria just put together. I helped like I'm shake sure. bait, and sure. then I spent uh, hundred and about hundred and eighty total on the two fishing rods combo, and I got two more poles coming. Where are you buying them off of? Do what? Are you buying them off of Amazon or Walmart? Uh, one's coming from Walmart. One's coming from Bass Pro. Bass Pro one must be expensive. Uh, I was I wanted one of them American Spirit Nightstick rods. I wanted the purple one like Maria's got. So I yeah. went to Amazon. <clears throat> or no, it wasn't Amazon. I just Googled it to see what popped up. And uh, it took me to two different tackle places. And both of them, dude, it was only like 60-something for the rod or 50-something for the rod. But then it was like $11 shipping and handling plus $8 for extra long rod shipping. Something stupid. that you come out with <coughs> another 20 bucks. So then I go to Walmart and Walmart.com. They don't have the purple one, but they have another one. And uh, I got a nine foot for 65 or something like that. Plus, I put a two year warranty on it for another seven bucks, and it's free shipping. I don't even know. It'll be here Friday. All my stuff. But do what? I don't even put warranties on my stuff. If it breaks, it breaks. Yeah. I learned my lesson on that. We bought that Philip Blu ray player. We had it. We had it less than two weeks, and it quit quit playing Blue Rays. Just decided it wasn't going to do it anymore. But because we didn't have a thing, then we wasn't nothing we could do both. So, but so the next one I got the Sony to replace it. I got the warranty, and it's worked fine ever since. So it knows. <laughs> I have a Sony too. Road Warriors back. Sunfish assassins in the house. What's up? <clears throat> Hey, Sunfish, you want to see him? You want to see him? You want to see it? You want to see my new poles? You got to tell me. If you don't want to see my, if you don't want to see my wiener twitch, then I'm not going to show you. Now, I'm talking about fishing poles. I'm not talking about my wiener twitch. Oh, we not? already did the wiener twitch. We already had the wiener twitch. It's still on there. It's good <laughs> in my channel. <laughs> You can find me twitching my wiener and JV sucking a pickle all in the same place. Where else can you find that on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> if this channel ain't destined for greatness, I don't know what is. 
You definitely see, won't yep. see that on JV's channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go solo. Lay out for a second. Okay. Blow stuff up. I, well, Sunfish, I went to Walmart because uh, I got that uh, Cast King, the one from JV, Cast King Royal Legend. I have a seven foot Vendetta, uh, Abu Garcia Vendetta, ordered from Bass Pro. We'll be here Friday. Well, I decided, you know what? Uh, while I got the money to do it, I want another bass rod. I want to go ahead and start this season out with two bass rods. And I've been looking at these lose, the LEWS. I've been looking at them reels for a while. And I've been thinking about getting one. So I was, Walmart had them. I was like, I'm going to get one at Walmart. That's, and that's what I went for. And uh, so I get there. Uh, they're all gone off the shelf. Every one of them. Well, about gave up. And then finally, we looked up on the top thing. And this one combo sat there by itself. Up on top shelf for sixty-five or $97. $97. Bucks. I love these friggin' this handle and grips on that thing. It's a six foot ten inch, uh, six foot ten inch, um, heavy, medium heavy power fast action. Is that a, and then the one it? I got orders is, is a seven foot. And while, while I was there, uh, while I was there, uh, right after I got that, I seen um, this reel. All by itself was the only one on the shelf. Has a real a line counter on it. It's an ugly stick walleye rod. It says for walleye. I'm going to use it for catfish just because that's what I do. And uh, it was only sixty five bucks for that combo, so I snatched that up. So those are good prices. I have no idea. Uh, I I never seen myself spending a hundred dollars on a bass rod all all my life. But I realized to get a good one, I, I, I didn't. I, re, I I pretty much had to, you know, to get a to get a decent bass rod that was going to do what I needed to do and last for a while. Then yeah. I had I had, to. and then I won that reel from JV, which is the Cast King, which is a good reel. But I didn't have a rod to put it on, so I knew I had to order a rod there anyway. And see, I could I could have bought a Saint Croix rod for like two hundred and sixty, two hundred and eighty bucks just for the whole. But I, I, the rod I got, I think, $79 plus tax and everything. Um, and then I got this combo today for 97 plus tax. So, I mean, that's – I'm not going to say that's a good price, but it's not it's not too horrible on that. But the, the other combo, the white one with the, the $65 combo, that's a, good, that's a good price, yeah. The rod on this alone cost me like 120 The real cost me like – See, like a hundred, hundred bucks for my bass. Yep. Run real. I saw. I, I'm still. It's still undecided, Grove Warrior, because it's supposed to rain too. But man, I, I wanted to go the last two days, and I don't. Uh, I don't know if I give a shit about raining or not at this point. I just want to go fishing, so there's oh, a good possibility. Of it. I'm planning on going fishing no matter what. Probably not going to kayak out. The fish won't care about the rain. That's what I said. Yeah. All no fish don't care if it's raining. They like it when it's raining. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they're getting fresh oxygen when it's raining. Actually, let me look that up. Uh, if... But, yeah, I, I, I was going to go today no matter what. It was the plan. And then I woke up with the stimulus. And like I said, you know, when I woke up with money, I had I had other shit I had to do. Like go to Walmart and spend that money on some more fishing shit. Take fishing. <laughs> Actually, I do have to do something before I can go fishing tomorrow. I still have these giveaways from last giveaway, so I have to get to the post office first thing tomorrow and get those sent out. Oh. And then after that, I'm gonna get fishing, huh? I just looked up if you can kayak in the rain and it said yes. I, oh, yeah. Yes, you can kayak in the rain. Actually, kayaking in the rain can produce a lot of memorable experience if you are fully prepared for it, plus putting on the right kit. So, I'll probably do some. 
kayak bath session tomorrow. They might have actually meant it could be a memorable, but memorable, memorable experience kayaking in the rain if you're smoking the right shit. That could have been what they meant. <laughs> I always wake up with a stimulus. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, is that too much? Uh... <laughs> oh. <coughs> well, see. Hard and criminal. With the rain we're getting tomorrow, there's supposed to be like 40 miles per hour winds also. Nice. Uh, so if I go kayaking, it's going to probably be dangerous. That gets you used. Just make sure you wear a couple life jackets and put flotation devices on all your poles and all your gear, <laughs> all your electronics. Well, there's the thing. My fish finder is not waterproof. Yeah. <laughs> my cell phone is not waterproof because there's a, there's a hole in the screen where I dropped it at the park last year. <laughs> I think it was waterproof before that. Here's the, screen. Here's the screen for my fish finder. Right here. Oh, that's a wow. Cool. That's um advanced. I don't know. No, I'll tell you what kind of fish it is and everything. No, it just goes by no. size. Right there. Oh, sound boots. It pings them. Yeah, it just pings the size of their big. Then they have their hollow with red. If they're small, they're yellow. Um, that sounds kind of racist, but we'll take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> Only you would go there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> well, at least he didn't say sexist. This is true. <laughs> so we're that's going through Indiana right now. Well, fine. hopefully that'll get here before I wake up. Then it'll be three before I wake up. Then. That's fine. I got a little bit, a little uh, saucy swimmers. <laughs> that's what she said. Well, sassy swimmers, actually. But they're supposed to be... Like storm, storm, road warrior, thunder, lightning, everything? No. I don't hear some boom booms? No, it's like rain. And only rain. We had it. We had that storm. No thunder, no thunder or nothing? No. That nah, sucks. I want some thunder and lightning. Uh, there's another storm coming tomorrow. Why do we say thunder and lightning when you don't get thunder unless you have lightning first? I know, right? Because the school's fucked with our heads, man. You mean it should be lightning and thunder, not thunder and lightning? Yeah. Exactly, because you don't get thunder until you have lightning. Maybe it should rain tomorrow and on Thursday and not get messed up. Oh, uh, yeah. There's an old country song about that it says, Thunder's just the noise, boys. Lightning does the work. That's a kick ass song, man. Rain all day tomorrow, today, just rain. Rain, 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 rain. Actually, you're right. I never thought about that. Yeah, it should be lightning and thunder, not thunder and lightning. Yeah. 92, 64, that's the lowest preventive. 78, 81, 74, 83. 8 o'clock in the morning. Storming. 88%. 89%. 97%. 98, 96. So Thursday or Friday? That's today. Okay. Well, I mean, after yeah, midnight, yeah. yeah. I got you, Thursday. That's all day tomorrow storming in the 90%. A good day, good fishing. I would. We're not even getting any rain here now. 
90, all 90%. Yeah, it's going to be storm and thunder, lightning, whole nine yards here all day tomorrow. So I might not make it there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Don't buy your I could go under the bridge oh. and fish in the creek, but the creek's going to be rolling. I mean, it's already high. And if it starts raining, it's just going to be higher. But I did I did pack up some couple, a few ounces of weight so I could fish in the creek if I need to. You'll probably end up still going. Don't worry. There's a good chance. You never know. It'll be on this channel if I do. <laughs> It'll be on Hillbilly. Even if it is a skunk? Yep. <laughs> yep, I'll even post the skunks. Can't, there's no point in, in trying to act like you, you catch a fish every time you go out. Because you don't. You know what I mean? Look at my but chin, dude. It, when, when, we make, when, <laughs> when we make videos of catching nothing, we are showing the young people what not to do. See? <laughs> so it's still educational and informative. Fuck them. What not to do is get high while fishing. No, that's a must. That's a must. <laughs> <coughs> that is a must. Well, except except when I'm at the city park and then I can't. But yeah, everywhere else is a must. <clears throat> yeah, I'm well if it's gonna be <coughs> if I do go, it's not going to be to the reservoir because I was thinking about the reservoir. But if it's storming, that's the, not where you want to be. Is up there at that reservoir because no. there's no shelter. Well, You're up on a fucking hill, way up on a hill. Well, than that, the yeah. water going through the reservoir is going to be so fast. Yeah, it's yeah, it's going to be bad up there. So if I if I do fish, it'll be in the in creek in town, or it'll be in ponds in town. I just bought. Mystery box. Which I have these I have these new rod holders I just bought today. I could go out there and just throw some corn and shit out in that front pond set underneath the shelter and watch the rods. <laughs> Willie, I don't mean to be rude, but my favorite woman on YouTube has just gone live with a very enticing stream title. <coughs> so uh, Yeah, what's the title? What's the title? You got to tell us that before you leave. Why? <laughs> you said it's very enticing. See, that's just teasing the motherfucker if you don't tell him what it is after that. Yeah, but I don't want... I mean, don't don't raid her as they... I wasn't going to raid her. You just said it's an enticing title. So that gets my attention. Keen makes me want to know what the title is. Well, because it's this person doing it. If someone else did it, I wouldn't care about it. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's cool. I see. He likes you her. take it a different way because of who said it. He yeah. likes her. Yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. But I, I'm I'm not gonna. I won't spend a lot of time there as well. Show my appreciation. Oh yeah, brother. I'm gonna shut this down as soon as we uh, as soon as we finish this anyway. Okay. Almost five hours, and uh, not bad for my first official stream was hit on Hillbilly Psyche. Yeah, I, uh, I I don't know what time I came in, but I missed. I think I missed most of it. Yeah, I had some good people up on the panel. I had some good good shit to talk about. <coughs> Wasn't talk about the same old stupid shit I'm always talking about. <coughs> That's a pretty good night. <coughs> Northern lights all night long. Beautiful night. Time to build an ark, he said. Uh, when Road Warrior goes fishing, he shoots the fish with the BB gun. You shoot the fish. Now, what did they do to you for you to have to shoot that poor fish? <laughs> of course, I put a big ass hook in their mouth or their stomach. So, I mean, but I can't really judge somebody for shooting fish, can I? <laughs> it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Yep. <laughs> Now, that'd be cruel. You don't put them in a barrel first, do you, Road Warrior? <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> I, I would have a problem with that now. 
putting fish in the barrel and then shooting them with BB gun. At least give them a chance. Shoot them in open water. <laughs> still not giving them much a chance. You're still shooting the fish with a gun of some sort. <laughs> No, that's when you take uh, TNT and put in water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then when it blows up, all the fish comes up dead. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I know a lot of hillbillies that fish like that. A little quarter stick of dynamite. That's usually a little too much. About knock you out of the damn boat. <laughs> oh, Bonnie, you used too big a stick there. Yeah, you reckon? That was almost a half a stick, you dumbass. You need like an eighth of a stick. <laughs> a sixteenth of a stick will do just fine. You know, and M80 will work. you using half sticks of dynamite. Just use fire. <laughs> 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 Push them out quicker in open water. Push them out quicker in open water. Huh. <laughs> just just use a mortar, it'll be fine. Yep. Tape a few M eighties together. <laughs> Tie a rock to them. Light them up, toss them. <laughs> No, don't don't try bottle rockets because those won't work. No, those don't work. No. <laughs> I, I actually I, I shot a bottle rocket down in front of my buddy one night down in the water where he was fishing at, and uh, I I had a I had already caught a twenty nine pound two ounce catfish, and I was in uh, third place in the tournament, and we were shooting bottle rockets back and forth at each other across the lake. Well, we we called time out or whatever, and I walked around and talked to him and reload on bottle rockets. He was the one selling the bottle rockets, so I had to buy them from him in order to shoot them at him. So I went around to buy more bottle rockets, and uh, while I was over there, I lit one, shot it straight down where he was fishing, and it popped underwater and everything. He's like, God damn you, I ain't going to fucking catch nothing now. The next morning, I had to go over there and net a fucking 29-pound, seven-ounce catfish. <laughs> Beat me by three fucking ounces. Knocked me down to fourth place in the tournament. <laughs> I wish I never would have did that after that. Like, I caught, he caught that fish because I shot that bottle rocket in there. <laughs> that was bullshit. That was like poetic justice at its finest. Come bit me in the ass. Instant karma. <laughs> yeah, instant fucking karma exactly what that was. <laughs> he should have seen him this one time, man. He had his van window cracked about like this. And all the, I mean, ton, like not tons, but pounds and pounds and pounds and pounds of fireworks were in this van. And he had his window cracked like this. I shot one of them bottle rockets, dude. And it just caught that lip above the window and, and ricocheted up. And dude, he, he jumped out of that chair so fast to get over and roll that window up. I was like, I almost got it. I almost got it. <laughs> <laughs> and dude, if I would have hit that, he probably would have blew the whole fucking fan up. <laughs> well, there's a guy, uh, well, he used to have a TV show on TV <laughs> called Bam. Bam. I know Mike. Bam. Yep. Yep. He, he put so many fireworks in his dad's or stepdad's car and lit them all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I still remember the fucking uh, the Dutch oven. The <laughs> dude walked in the room and straight kicked. <laughs> walked in the room after they moved the blanket. And he said, Bleh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what about a Roman candle in water? Roman candle in water. I've never seen that. What's that do? It's, it'll just shoot flaming color balls. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> it 
psychedelic in the water. Yeah. She said, I'm not swallowing that. <laughs> that shit glows in the dark. You got me fucked up. <laughs> oh god. Oh fuck. Well I guess if I, I have any chance of going to the post office and going fishing tomorrow or thinking about it, I guess I might have to get off here. Almost midnight. No it ain't. Yep, it's eleven forty six. PM. Well, it's ten forty six PM. Only if you didn't fix your clocks or if unless you're in an hour behind us. <laughs> I'm playing on I'm gonna try to talk to Epic and see if he wants to do collab soon. Hell yeah. First the balls goes first the balls goes blue, then red. Oh the Roman candle? Or is that what she said? <laughs> please, please run <laughs> The fireball. <laughs> yeah, I had Fish Snatcher on my live. On that live, I had JB, I had Mike Turner. Good night, brother. Good night, Good Road Warrior. But yeah, when when JV showed up, that's that's when it all no, not for that one. He yeah, for the other one. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, who was it? Epic showed up, Sh popped into my live. I even had Paul Meadow Cats, Chunky, Michael Michael Morello in my chat. That was a a great time. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hell yeah. That was like my biggest life ever. Yep. That's how you get your hours too, man. Just, just go live and talk about fishing. Talk about whatever the hell you want to talk about. Talk about what, what everybody else wants to talk about. You know what I mean? You can start something out if you got something you want to bring up. But then when, when whatever you're talking about, you're about, you're about running out of talking about it. Then you go with what, what they're talking about in chat, man. You just make that shit run for hours, dude. You know, uh, when Ain't nothing. when uh, when Epic popped into my live, and he was talking for an hour for at least an hour to me and Turner and everybody else. Yep. Tips. He was talking to me first about uh, fishing along the river um, because he fished down here where I live at. Well, he yeah. used to. Um, then we got into talking about Alligator Gar and, and everything, so It was one eventful night. <laughs> Gave away two things and so well I'll get off here. All right, brother. Yep, yep. I'm yes, shutting her down right now and uh so, we're gonna fish. Them. So I I'll let you do your outro. Oh, yeah, man. All right, y'all. We will, uh, I don't know. I ain't going to say I'm going fishing tomorrow. I might pop up tomorrow. You just 
I'm going to pop up some fucking where some fucking point, and <coughs> I'll be there. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs>